Hello, hello, everybody. We are continuing our journey here in Mass Effect 2. Maybe even finishing it. Maybe. Because all we have is the generic do the thing mission, which is the main mission. And then Ilium Liara, which we can do before we do the Shadow Broker stuff. I'm not sure when we will do it. But we're definitely going to do Legion's mission, A House Divided, right now. And for you, Commander. thank you, Kelly. Don't break again. Uh, I'm going to quickly double check and make sure I don't have any other upgrades. Man, that, I really wish this, I still wish this place had a testing range, because I wonder what a Cerberus sniper rifle is like compared to the sniper I like. Because... The Viper was bad. Incisor, new wave, police, military. Oh, wait. I thought we scanned... I guess we scanned a Cerberus sniper rifle and it just, uh... Like, uh... Got a... Upgrade instead of a new gun. Uh. But still. Let's see. Ah, you can have that, yeah. Well, with that out of the way, let us go. No messages for you, Commander. And do well. Did I talk to? Well, I want to talk to Joker. I'm gonna to talk to Joker instead. I don't want to talk to Joker because I forget if I've talked to Joker or not. We've got a Geth on board, not as a prisoner. Can you believe that? The commander's taking out more Geth than anybody. This one must be different. It is. We've, according to Legion, only faced heretics up till now. So yeah, Geth on the ship. Ah, uh, Geth? Ah, oh, we're all freaking insane. <laughs> I love Joker. I assume everything is going well up here? Good for now. Fractured my thumb on the mute, but I think I made my point. That's it for now. See you, Commander. Seems that we're... Uh, the one thing that I am disappointed by, we go into the AI core and it's not to talk to Edie. Profound sadness. But yeah, now, with all that out of the way, it's just nice to have... The occasional check-in with, uh, our boy, Joker. Before we go and help Legion. And then head through the... Well, I guess we still have to wait for the Reaper IFF to be shoved into the thing. That would be hilarious. If, like... Hmm. Yeah, because we still have to wait. Because we don't have a mission... Uh, then again, yeah, I, I'm assuming we'd get a mission to be like, go through the Omega Relay. All right, we'll help Legion, and then if nothing is there, we'll do the Shadow Broker stuff. And if there's absolutely nothing left to do, except fear, we'll run through the Omega Relay. The Sea of Storms. Help Legion. Oh, oh, there's no star here. Yeah, I think I remember Legion saying they made it out in the middle of dark space. Well, not dark space, but like, you know. Basically, they didn't put it in the uh, immediate gravitational pull of a star because no organics would have a reason to come out here. The Heretic Station. Once called Heritar by the Corians, this space station... Silence fun! This space station was stripped of its useful technology by the fleeing migrant fleet when they left the Perseus Vale 300 years ago. Little more than a cold metal superstructure floating in the void, the station was removed from star charts by 2050 CE. Scans indicate the station was re reconstructed and upgraded in a massive effort that must have taken at least 10 years, implying there may have been some geth outside the veil before their infamous attack on Eden Prime. Needing little but a fuel source, it could have been hidden here for much longer without attracting attention from the barren worlds around Tessera or the clueless Elcor in the Sahalil system. Heretic Station, as Legion refers to it, is home to a Geth data core, capable of broadcasting vast distances through tight beam projection. Approximately 6.6 .6 million copies of Geth software are stored in the Cistation. 
the majority of which are kept bodiless in servers and downloaded to legged platforms when needed. The station's population of legged platforms is approximately 2.4 million. Hopefully we don't have to fight all 2.4 million, because that would be nightmare. Legion. Legion. Oh, we can't change you. I almost want to bring Tally for this, because... I don't know. That won't go poorly at all. Geth, Infiltrator, augments Legion's combat skills and weapon damage, improves its power recharge time. Geth Assassin. Legion has become an expert at dissimilating organics and synthetics alike, increasing Legion's dam uh, weapon damage, increasing help and damage. Geth Trooper. What? Creating redundant systems for its functions, increasing its health. Oh, I'll go for weapon damage. <laughs> We're gonna have two combat drones. Let's go! We can have an explosive drone and an attack drone. That was probably a terrible decision to bring these two, but I don't know. It just feels like this is the right combination. A quarian who hates the geth. A geth that's just like, yes, we are many. This won't be a terrible situation at all. Not at all. Not at all. This will be perfect. You know, it's just our heat emissions that are hidden, right? They could look out a window and see us coming. Windows are structural weaknesses. Geth, do not use them. Approach the hull at these coordinates. Access achieved. We may proceed. <laughs> He's mocking Legion. <laughs> I just have to look at Joker. He's like, fine, fine. <laughs> I mean, I Commander Shepard brought that up. Windows are a Alert. risk. This facility has little error gravity. Geth require neither. Hmm. Intruder alarms? Won't we be detected? Don't they have intrusion alarms? Sensors have been reduced. We have infiltrated their wireless network and filled the data storage with random bits. Hmm. So what? And then that helps us how? The heretics must scrub this junk data. They have partitioned themselves into local networks working in parallel. Any alarm we trigger will not go beyond the room we are in. Only accessing the main core will trigger a station-wide alert. We've got a job to do. Let's get to it. Shepard Commander, we concluded that destruction of this station was the only resolution to the heretic question. There is now a second option. And what's that? Their virus can be repurposed. If released into the station's network, the heretics will be rewritten to accept our truth. Either way, these geth won't be a problem anymore. But Shepard, think about this. If you rewrite these Geth, they'll join the others. Legion's Geth will be stronger. Can we trust them not to attack us in the future? Hmm. Legion, hmm. you didn't tell us earlier. Why didn't you mention this before we came aboard? We did not know the virus was complete. It is. It can be used against the true Geth at any time. Our arrival was timely. And Legion's They're recommendation. Your people, Legion. You must have an opinion. This is new data. We have not yet reached consensus. We will process as the mission proceeds. Hmm. On the one hand, rewriting is unethical. Because these Geth have come to their own conclusion. They want to... It's a hard thing. Because the Geth have their own opinions and ideologies, it seems. The heretics believe that the Reapers are the true thing. They don't see that the Reapers see them as nothing more than tools to be tossed aside at the earliest convenience of them no longer being useful. Hmm. But on the other hand, it would... Yeah, on the one hand, it's unethical. On the other hand, it would bolster... Legion's Geth troops. Hmm. We can decide later. Let's go. This isn't the time to debate it. Let's move while the heretics are distracted. Yeah. Basically, I personally, from a pragmatic point, I would say rewrite them. Because they were willing to rewrite you. And that makes the them super dangerous. 
Maybe we can sneak past them. Interrupting data streams will alert local network. We recommend preemptive strikes against targeting routers. Preemptive strikes against the hard link routers. What? I. It was invisible while resting. I thought it was gonna shoot the thing. I thought it was like, oh, it's just showing me how far. Okay. I. I want to try it again because it would be interesting. But okie doke. Need to be careful. The get are inactive. Maybe we can sneak past them. Interrupting data streams will alert local network. Because the fucking... We must be careful we can sneak by them, Tally says, as she steps onto the pressure plate to activate the reinforcements. Alright, I'm gonna have to babysit the AI. Damn you, AI! The get are inactive. Maybe we can sneak past them. Walk Interrupting slowly. Alert local network. We Please. recommend strikes against hardwick routers. I'm gonna save in here. Please. Okay, no, he just looked like... No, I was wrong. He wasn't invisible. He was just ever so slightly looked like a control panel. Oh, he didn't die. But he said preemptive strikes. Shepard, I'm picking up useful resources in the get house. We could salvage them for supplies. Good job. Why are all the heretics attached to these hubs? These are mobile platforms. Hardware. The crew is software. They are communing through the station's central computer. Tell me more. I'm not sure I follow. The heretics connect to the main computer to exchange data memories and program updates. We gain complexity by linking together. To be isolated within a single platform is to be reduced. We see less, comprehend less. It is quieter. If you exchange data, memories... Yeah, like we know uh, from what Tally said in the first game, How I believe. You you? There is only we. We were created to share data among ourselves. The difference between Gap is perspective. We are many eyes looking at the same things. One platform will see things another does not, and will make different judgments. Hmm. The heretics are part of you. I could see why you'd be conflicted about the heretics. In a way, whatever you do to them, you're doing to yourself. Yes. Once they return to us and upload their memories, we will share their experience of being altered. That could be traumatizing. Every other species I know of might be psychologically scarred by a traumatic experience like that. It is not clear if death can be traumatized. We do not feel pain as you do. We cannot predict what the effects will be. Let's keep moving. Yes. Ooh, that adds a bit of complexity. Because, like you said, they share memories. Once the alter the heretics... We can assume control of any defensive turret. They will assist us briefly, then self-destruct. Hacking your target. Yeah, like... Hacking your target. Like you said, they sh they're mobile platforms that share memories. So... It's possible that overriding the heretic Geth might have unforeseen consequences against the non-altered Geth. That's something to think about. No! Tally! Tally, please! Tally, no! I wonder if that's a... Not a mirror. Window. Targeting order process. Granted, we don't really need 
Oh. Successful score. You are noisy, my dude, and the... Okay, he had a shotgun. Did not know he had a shotgun that did lots of damage. And also, game, quit taking off my ammo! That's annoying. We can assume control of any defensive turret overriding your target. Yeah, that's just kind of annoying. Ah! I find I just find it annoying when the game is like, Hark! We are going to remove your ammo. Why? You out of the way. Oh, maybe. Heck you! What the hell? Why did I get knocked out of my goddamn cover? Yeah, get on the my moral philosophizing. I wonder what the ramifications might be. Because the logical thought would be to bolster Legion's geth by overriding the heretics. That is the logical step. But if we take the geth as more than just machines, because they are one of many congregating together, even though they are extremely similar, so there isn't really an individuality among them. But the collectives can still come to a different thing. It's a very complex idea. Not really individuals, but not really one whole. They can come to different decisions, like you said. If they don't upload their memories and link to other memories, they might come to a different conclusion than other Geth, as obvious by the, as made obvious by the heretics. They came to a different conclusion about the Reapers than apparently the rest of the Geth. I don't think we should risk it. We probably shouldn't risk the virus, because it's still a virus. And the virus could very well be transmitted through the uplink. Which would be very frickin' bad. Because again, he... Legion said that the virus works by changing the bit. A single bit that would mess with their thought processes. So, instead of thinking the way they do, they would be altered. And I'm gonna pause for this because this is a important thing. It is entirely possible that if we upload the virus into the heretics, the heretics might then, uh, just by uplinking to the rest of the geth, pass the virus along. And that's a bad idea. I say we destroy the virus. That's another thing. That's another thing. What if somebody captures a geth, like, even if the virus is just there to be, hey, alter you so it, so you think, like, we want you to. What if somebody gets a hand on a functioning geth and reverse engineers the goddamn virus? If they do that, they might be able to take control. We destroy this fucking place. We are not uploading that. I was gonna say, oh, but I want more geth for Legion. No, no, no. Nobody is getting this virus. This virus dies. I am not risking it. I am not risking it. The initial idea, oh, it's pragmatic to want to bolster our forces. No, 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 no. It is pragmatic to make sure that our forces can never, ever be compromised by this virus. 
even if we is like again they're gonna uplink their memories and stuff again and uh, then there's the side effect of potentially traumatizing the idea that the gets to be traumatized by the virus is just a bad idea and again there is a quarium who wants this kind of thing? I forget her name. I had no idea Gap built stations this large. It is a repurposed quarry station. Kilometers long. That room may run the length of it. But yeah, that's another reason why I don't trust to keep the virus. There is the crazy lady who's on the Admiralty board who thought that Tally's father's experiments it was a good idea. She's gonna continue it to a degree. And if she if she got her hands on an altered Geth, she could reverse engineer the virus. This yep, I've convinced myself the virus goes. The virus goes. We cannot risk anybody getting a hand on this virus. We cannot risk this virus accidentally being memory STD'd into the mind of other Geth. As much as the million, the 2.2 million plus heretic Geth coming back into the fold might be nice, it is far too risky. It is far too risky to even try, the short-term benefit would be more bodies. Long-term benefit, no, short-term benefit, long-term risk. Enemies detected. Cannot risk this virus, especially if this virus is a like foot in the door for potentially allowing others to hack a Geth. This is something that Geth made, so therefore it and Rail Tally's father only made a small headway into making. Uh, hacked geth are these databases processors each contains thousands of geth can't they see us walking by nope they are no more aware of us than you are of cells in your bloodstream this isn't like the other hubs we've seen here this is a database it contains a portion of the heretics accumulated memories that's a lot Wait. of tech we discovered copies of our current control routes in this database this suggests the heretics have run times within our network. Hmm, is that surprising? We wouldn't be here if the heretics wanted to be friends with the Geth. Why wouldn't they spy on you? You do not understand. Organics do not know each other's minds. Geth do. We are not suspicious. We accept each other. The heretics desired to leave. We understood their reasons. We allowed it. There was peace between us. Things change. It couldn't have lasted forever. You disagreed about what path your race should take. Human history is a litany of blood shed over differing ideals of rulership and afterlife. Geth have no such history. We shared consensus on such things. How could we have become so different? Why can we no longer understand each other? What did we do wrong? It's not your fault. When individuals are separated, they develop in different ways. When they get back together, they don't always get along. If this is the individuality you value, we question your judgment. This topic is irrelevant. We must return to the mission. Hmm. Your opinion on rewriting. Have you reached a decision about whether to rewrite the heretics or not? We are still trying to build consensus. Some processes judge destruction preferable. Others rewrite. All right, let's go. Let's keep moving. Yes. 
And that's another thing. The heretics have been separate from Legion's Geth for so long, it's entirely possible that reintroducing them, altered back or not, they could still prove to be a threat. Acknowledged. Attacking your target. Could still be a this hefty threat. Yes, we will upload a copy of our runtime into the core. It will delete all copies of the virus. When complete, it will know the class. That's amusing to happen in cutscene. The indexing operation will take time. The heretics will respond with force to our upload. We must hold this room. We can override some of the station's internal systems to defend us. Are you ready to begin? Hmm. Yes. Start your upload, Legion. We'll defend this position. File transfer begun. Shepard Commander, where would you like us to activate defenses? Alert. Heretic runtimes downloading to mobile platforms. Alert. Heretic runtimes downloading to mobile platforms. Overriding your target. Get out of here. But yeah, overall, I think that destruction is the proper way to go. Overriding your target. It is just far too risky. Alert. Heretic runtimes downloading to mobile platforms. Mobile. Moving to position. It is way too risky. Freaking risky. And why does it feel like I'm running out of ammo? Really wish my dudes would stay. Where are ammo? Heavy weapon time. Target contact. Ready for next target. Oh, hey, that was it. Good. Data mine and analysis complete. Shepard Commander, it is time to choose. Do we rewrite the heretics or delete them? Hmm. Hmm. Reusing virus. What's to stop them from using the virus later to change themselves back? We will delete the virus after using it. We judge it too dangerous to allow its existence. And why is the Paragon option now will rewrite them? Before it said unethical, killing your own people. You don't have any trouble wiping out your own people. Every sapien has the right to make their own decisions. The heretics chose a path that prohibits coexistence. That doesn't make sense. If they have the right to make their own decisions, how can you suggest brainwashing them to accept your way? We stated the option exists. We did not endorse it. 
It is Shepard Commander's decision. Hmm. And finally, why am I deciding? Why are you letting me make this decision? They're your people. We are conflicted. There is no consensus among our higher order runtimes. 573 favor rewrite, and 571 favor destruction. Shepard Commander, you have fought the heretics. You have perspective we lack. The Geth grant their fate to you. Damn it, now I'm conflicted again. <laughs> This is the one downside to the, ooh, we're gonna put Paragon in the upper right, and the Renegade in the bottom left, or bottom right. Is because, in the one hand, we're saving more lives by rewriting them to a degree. And again, I'm kind of worried about the trauma. Uh, and this isn't one of the decisions that I'd like, like, this is the kind of decision that I would like to stick to without, like, reloading. This is the kind of thing that I wouldn't want to be like, I don't like the effects of that, I I choose differently, bleh. Because again, well, they seem to un wipe out the possibility of the virus being weaponized against them in the future. But... There's still the thing of the, uh, when the heretics once they upload themselves to the, uh, like, relay to the rest of the Geth, like, will that affect the good, well, quote-unquote, good Geth? Will it affect them or not? I'm just wondering... wondering, like, because again, it could cause trauma, but at the same time, they're, like, mechanical beings. So, does that do anything? But at the same time, it is brainwashing them, and brainwashing them... In a way, it's kind of like, oh, you brainwash them, you kill who they were to a degree, or you can kill them. So it makes me wonder. And again, they put rewrite them as the Paragon option, which is kind of funny. It's just, I'm wondering. I'm just wondering, wondering. Because it's just like... Killing them is the renegade option for some reason. Wouldn't you think brainwashing them would be the renegade option? Again, there's the potential for trauma. There's a potential that the divergent ideas that the heretics created or, yeah, kind of like evolved into. It just makes me wonder. It just makes me wonder. And then there's also, because on the one hand, we give them more geth to use, and if there are allies, that's good. But at the same time, destroy them. Hmm. I, I, I guess I don't really have to worry about too much Paragon Renegade options because I've maxed out my Paragon, and now it's just like uh, mostly down to what I want to do. And this is a really strange ethical dilemma. I'm just wondering why. Uh, this is probably going to be the first time I'm going to say it, but I think I'm going par I'm th I think I'm going Renegade. If that truly is a Renegade option. Because, again, I was typing myself up. Because if we take it as it stands, where the virus will not be in effect anymore. This is will only be used or destroyed here. Once it is used, it will be destroyed, and it will have no effect whatsoever in the future that just leaves the altered identity of the heretic Geth 
potentially traumatizing, and the ethics of it. I think I'm going Renegade, because... Better to let them die themselves. They've made this choice. Even if some of them might have been indoctrinated... Some of them might have been indoctrinated. They were still making this decision before Sovereign came to them. The heretic Geth split off so long ago that they were able to change in how they think and believe. So yeah, I think I'm going to go Renegade. It's safer to kill them because brainwashing is a bit unethical. And the idea that the brainwashing might traumatize the Geth and then the Geth will then uplink back to the rest of the Geth, spreading the memories. I think it's better to just let the heretics die. There's no guarantee they won't come to the same conclusions again, is there? To worship the Reapers and attack organics? There is a non-zero probability of error. Then blow them up. We have a chance to end this. I won't waste it. Acknowledged. I hope. Recommend withdrawal to Normandy. Now I just need to hope that my one renegade option, the one time I go renegade, thirty renegade. But come on, we've been killing Geth this whole time, and the rest is, yeah, that's that. I, that kind of pisses me off. I understand a bit of Renegade, because it, but it's still brainwashing. Because it's brainwashing, that is what that is. Brainwashing. It's brainwashing, and this way they get to die themselves. Die as themselves. They came to this conclusion, they get to die by this conclusion. And again, then again, they are like robotic beings. Well, not robotic beings, but like... Machine being. So it's not really black and white. Well, yeah, I just. I just think it's safer to keep the system memories and thought processes out of the other Geth. I think it's safer to keep the altered state of Heretic Geth out. Destruction of Geth heretics may change entire galactic landscape. Bolstering observation of Geth space to monitor any fleet movements. Regardless, data recovered from Geth station offered valuable insight to AI social and technological processes. Legion should be committed to the mission after Shepard's help with the Geth heretics. Ah, oh, that was his loyalty mission. Neat. Legion power and new Legion outfit. Cool. Geth shield strength credits. But again, that's so weird. We've been hack a Geth collective. That was the achievement. I'm on it, Joker. Now this again. Shepard, I'm glad you're here. I caught Legion scanning my Omni tool. It was going to send data about the flotilla back to the Geth. You don't know Rangers that. Rangers performed weapons tests and were discussing plans to attack us. We believed it necessary to warn our people. We weakened the Geth by destroying that base, Shepard. But there's still a threat. I won't let Legion endanger the fleet. Creator Tally Zora acts out of loyalty to her people. She was willing to be exiled to protect them. We must also protect our people from the Creator threat. You can't let this happen, Shepard. I trusted you, and I worked with a Geth on the team, but this is too much. You're both right. Tally, your father was running brutal experiments. If the subjects have been human, I damn well be telling the Alliance about it. I know, but if the Geth find out... They'd attack. Which would cause a war that would leave both the Geth and the Quarians vulnerable yeah. when the Reapers show up. 
Is that what you want, Legion? We believed it was necessary to relay the information. Sooner or later, you're both gonna have to stop fighting this war. Or we'll all end up paying for it. To facilitate unit cohesion, we will not transmit data regarding creator plans. Thank you, Legion. I understand your intentions. That was close. What if I gave you some non-classified data to send? We would be grateful. Yay! Cooperation! Oh, that was close. But I guess we can go talk to Legion, but yeah, it's just like uh, the uh, uh, 30 Renegade. Oh, heal scars? I don't have scars. My scars are all gone because I am super paragon. Even if luckily I'm not even like 25% per uh, Renegade. But again, oh, let's talk here. What's this area of the ship? This is the AI core room, where my higher functions are housed. You're not mobile, are you? You can't get out of here? I have minimal access to the ship's systems. Direct landlines allow me to interface with security monitors and public address system. In combat, I am provided temporary access to the electronic warfare systems. But yeah, in the end, it's just like I have no idea what to do there. It seemed like, oh, we should brainwash. Open the AI core? What was that? Oh, AI core room. I was like, open your AI core. I was, I thought I was looking at this. But yeah, it's just like I have no idea, like what the right answer to that was because there were too many variables. The Geth, the heretics, were split off from the Geth for so long. They changed, and they came to the conclusion that they wanted to serve the Reapers, and then they wanted to then brainwash the rest. Which would have been bad, so I decided, you know what, no, um, I don't think that would be a good idea, especially, again, the virus, like, even though they said they were going to destroy the virus, the effects of the virus would remain, and it uh, would potentially lead to some crazy quarian getting the idea to go bibbidi-bop, bibbidi-bop. Also, again, Tally, you were sending <laughs> information, so it's like, we destroyed a giant bunch of geth, we should attack! when we've been working with a Geth who's been very nice so far and was willing to destroy millions of Geth because they were a big threat. Shepard. Hmm. The fate of the heretics. What happens to the heretics now? Many heretics remain in isolated systems. It is not impossible for them to rebuild. There's still a chance they could attack again? The probability is low. If so, it would take many years. Tell me more about the Geth. I have questions about the Geth. Specify. Upgrades. We need every advantage if this mission is Ooh, I succeed. almost forgot about that. Is there any technology the Geth can share with us? Limited code development is approved. We need to access your FTL comm system to download relevant data. Yes. Edie, let Legion through the firewalls for a minute. Very well, Shepard. I trust Legion. Geth sniper rifle. Legion gets a widow anti-material rifle with enough raw resource and access. Sure, dude. Shepard Commander. I have questions Specify. about the Hmm. Upgrades. We need every We have advantage. reproduced our ranged armament. No further co-development is possible. All right. Sovereign and the Geth. Did Sovereign contact the Geth, or did you seek it out? Or did they? Zara, the entity you called Sovereign, signaled us. Like the Geth, the old machine listened to organic radio transmissions. It knew of our war against the creators. The Zara contacted many species over the Zara. Market, seeking allies. Allies. Some of the Geth followed Sovereign. The heretics. The heretics accepted their technology. The old machines offered to give us our future. The Geth will achieve their own future. Don't see the difference. I kind of do. But let's ask. What difference does it make how you acquire a certain technology? Technology is not a straight line. There are many paths to the same end. Accepting another's path blinds you to alternatives. Nazara, huh. Sovereign, said this itself. Huh, that's Your interesting. Your civilization is based upon the technology of the mass relays. Our technology. By using it, your society develops along the paths we desire. He's right. <laughs> what did you call Sovereign? Nazara, that was what the programs within the Reaper called themselves. Sovereign was a title given by Saren Arterius. Huh. 
Saren and the heretics believe Nazara to be a supreme ruler, a sovereign. Multiple programs. Sovereign was one ship. You're saying there were multiple programs inside it? One ship, one will, many minds, like the Gath. We study your records. Sovereign told you this on Ilos. We are each a nation, independent, free of all weakness. A state compelling to the Gath. We are a nation, but interdependent. Separation is our weakness. Hmm. Geth speech. I'm surprised you can speak. The Geth I fought before just made a stuttering sound. We prefer direct digital transfer. Geth network communication travels at light speed. Human hardware does not support this method. Your analog world communication <laughs> is inefficient. This reminds me of the, uh, what are they called? Protoss in StarCraft, where they like, they use mouths to speak. It is completely inefficient to just mind reading. Geth government. Do Geth have a government? Not as you understand. We are all Geth. We build consensus. Most governments do. Organic governments impose consensus. Yeah. From a single point of view in autocracies, by codifying the most broadly acceptable average of views in democracies. And what do Geth do? Each individual one then again, isn't that kind of democracy? They kind of voted, but I guess because they didn't have a supreme majority, they're like, we could, we can't decide. So what makes the Geth different? Data is shared between Geth. All viewpoints are considered. Consensus is achieved as data is disseminated. That must take a long time. Not really, light speed. Organics. We yeah. communicate at the speed of light. Like you said. All right, another like topic. To ask about something else. Ready. I want to learn about you. I'd like to find out more about you. We are building a consensus. Please try again later. <laughs> Okie doke. I have to get back to work. Acknowledged. Huh, interesting. Once again, it says AI core, but not AI door. Well, that's very interesting. And I kind of want to go talk to Tally, but at the same time, it'll probably just be the if you need someone else stuff again. But we have achieved loyalty. Ah, oh, no talk about Geth from our, my favorite engineers. Shepard, what can I do for you? Hmm, talk about you. Time to talk. For you? I can't. This again. I understand if you need to find something. Only if it's someone. safe. I don't want to risk your health. Thank you. I will, I'll find a way. I wish there there was something that would say, hey, you've already had this conversation. Like, gray out the option. That would be... Th isn't there something that actually... I forget what game does that. There is a game, or maybe multiple games, that have that system. The IFF is nearly installed, Shepard. However, I must test its impact on the Normandy systems. All right. I suggest you take the shuttle to access your next location. Take a shuttle. And now, shielding is greater. Thank God. The IFF is nearly installed, Shepard. However, I must test its impact on the Normandy systems. I suggest you take the shuttle to access your next location. Why do I feel suspicious about that? How may I help like you a bad Commander? thing's gonna happen. Is there anything I should know? Not anything else, Commander. That'll be all. You should take a shuttle. So that you are away from the Normandy when God decides to kill us all. Oh, hooked up and ready to go. never mind. That is not entirely oh, accurate, yeah, she Mr. said, Monroe. dang it. The device is powered, but it is causing some unusual instability in other systems. I recommend a more thorough analysis before we attempt to use it. What's the time estimate? We can't put our mission on hold forever. How long will this take? <laughs> Full scan? Who knows with this thing? Maybe you better take the shuttle for this mission. I'll make sure we're up and running when you get back. Commander, Miranda, I've already notified the team. We'll meet you on the shuttle. Once we're closer to our destination, you can decide who to take with you. Hmm, you thought of everything. Then I guess I'll head down to the shuttle. Joker, ship's all yours. Take care of her. Aye, aye, Commander. Don't die. Man, I kind of wish that the shuttle was like a smaller Normandy.
where are we going? What is our mission? Can, can this thing do mass jumps? What even is the mission that we're going to? There's my favorite two engineers, besides Tally. Uh, Cutscene. Readings are off. It's radiation. Just white noise. I have detected a signal embedded in the static. We are transmitting the Normandy's location. Transmitting? To who? Uh, the collectors! Motherfucker, I knew something was bad! Oh, shit! I knew something was bad! It was horrible! We're getting out of here! Propulsion systems are disabled. I'm detecting a virus in the ship's computers. From the IFF? Damn it, why didn't you scrub it? Primary defense systems are offline. We can save the Normandy, Mr. Moreau, but you must help me. Damn it, my my people! My people, no! What? You're crazy! You start singing Daisy Bell and I'm done. Unlock my sealed databases and I can initiate countermeasures. The maintenance shaft in Oh damn it, he's the one with bad legs. AI core. Main corridors are no longer safe. The collectors have boarded. The emergency floor lighting will guide you, Mr. Moreau. Ah damn it. Do I play as Joker? I play as Joker for this! I'm terrified! Please stay alive, everyone. Stay clear and nice. They're dead. My crew! My crew! My crow. They're fucking dying! No. God damn it. Hostiles detected on the crew deck. Joker, this deck is crawling with those things. Stay Hawthorne, stay. <laughs> nope, they're all dead. Shit, shit, shit. Well, some of them are dead. Some of them are being taken. I don't know what's worse. <laughs> Fuck. Offline, activating emergency H fuel cells. What the shit? Fuck, fuck. All right, I'm at, uh, uh, you. Connect the core to the Normandy's primary control module. Trust Edie. This is where it starts. When we're just all organic batteries. Guess who to blame? Well, this is all Joker's fault. What a tool he was. <laughs> I had to spend all day computing Pi because he plugged in the Overlord. <laughs> at least you're still funny about this, man. <laughs> Annihilate them, Edie. Annihilate them all. I have access to the defensive systems. Thank you, Mr. Moreau. Now you must reactivate the primary drive in engineering. Ah, uh, you want me to go crawling through the dunce again? I enjoy the sight of humans on their knees. <laughs> that is a joke. Right. The shaft behind you connects to the engineering deck. Good luck. My, my ship! My crew! I knew something bad was gonna happen. And it's possible that some are already dying because of the fucking I don't even forget their names, monstrosity bitches. Are present in engineering. They are heading towards the cargo bay. Fuck. Fuck. Okay, thank God that that's not going to stay. Oh, I have to go through all of that? Damn you. Shit, shit, shit. Why have this kind of thing? I swear. Nope, some are definitely dying. I thought they wanted to collect, but I guess we pissed them off. Shit, 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 shit. When it comes to the Normandy, they want to obliterate us. We're too threatening. God damn it. At least I'll be able to save some of my crew. Hostiles detected on the crew deck. Joker, this deck is crawling with those things. Hopefully you don't die and you instead get taken. Shit, shit, shit! 
Can I save? Why can't I save in this goddamn game? Main fusion plant offline. Activating emergency H fuel cells. This is very bad. What the shit? Connect the core to the well, this is uh, I enjoy the sight of right. Shaft behind you. Dang it, I should have taken the opportunity to try and save, but I was spamming. <laughs> I could say are present in engineering. They are heading towards the cargo bay. So if I let them pass. They shouldn't see me. Engineering is clear of hostile. Okay, yeah, they Proceed wanted me to wait. To minimize chances of detection. Override, override. Drive and I will open the airlocks as we accelerate. All hostiles will be killed. And the crew? What? What about the crew? They are gone, Jeff. The collectors took them. Oh, shit. I am sealing the engine room. God damn it. I have control. Please be good, Edie. to Shepard Shuttle. Tell him what happened. God damn it. Message away. Are you feeling well, Jeff? He had to watch everyone die. <laughs> no. But thanks for asking. My crew. It's none of my companions, but it's still my crew. And I didn't even get to do the mission. Everyone? You lost Everyone and damn near lost the ship too? I know, all right, I was here. It's not his fault, Miranda. None of us caught it. Mr. Taylor is correct. The harmful data in the collector drive was even more sophisticated than the black box reaper viruses I was given. Are you okay, Joker? I heard it was a rough ride. How are you holding up? There's a lot of empty chairs in here. We did everything we could, Jeff. Yeah, thanks, Mom. Is the virus contained? But we need to get our crew back. I think it's time we bump up our trip to the Collector homeworld. The IFF is cleaning online. With Edie hooked in, we can go through the Omega-4 relay anytime we want. Don't even get me started about unshackling a damned AI. Well, what can I do against Collectors? Break my arm at them? Edie cleared the ship. She's all right. I assure you, I am still bound by protocols in my programming. Even if I were not, you are my crewmates. I trust Edie. Edie has had plenty of opportunity to kill us. We need all the help we can get. Sounds like we have everything we need to rescue the crew. We've done everything we can. It's time to take the fight to the Collectors. We're ready. Let's do it. Because I think we have everything. We got all upgrades to the ship that I can theorize. In fact, a lot of the upgrades of people were just like a gun for me. And then we did all the loyalty missions. Which I... I once again, the consort's message was troubling. It's just like, ensure the loyalty or else you will die. It felt like it said... Joker, head back up to the bridge. The rest of you, to your stations. We're going. We're going Aye, now. Commander, just punch up the galaxy map whenever you're ready. You was the Omega-4 relay. <laughs> I knew at the moment. It's just like, take the shuttle. I knew bad things were going to fucking happen. Stop the collectors. Use the Omega 4 relay. Let's use the use the guinea pig. Shepard, how can I help? Squad status. Are there any medical concerns? I Cerberus personnel in excellent condition. Always some matters, but nothing affecting immediate. Want to talk about you? Have you got Not a good time. Anything else? So nobody I'll wants to talk about here. everybody being taken. Are there any other upgrades? Just my normal ones. My retrainables. Oh yeah, they took my goddamn secretary. Everyone's loyal. Guess I'll go 
check my suite. Like, just in case. Well, because this is probably gonna be the last time we fucking see this place before everything goes to hell. Hello, my darling. Squeak indeed. <laughs> you can use the toilet, but why? I think I have all the armors that I want. Don't have any of my goddamn fish. I think I purged them. I'm gonna go to engineering and talk to Zaid one last time. Talk to Tally one more time. I for my goddamn favorite engineers are gone. This mission takes me back. Losing everyone. Joker handled himself well. Should have come back here and got a real weapon. Still, did real well for a kid with glass bones. Pretty sure I'd be laid up in bed if I were him. I've done a lot of crazy things, but I never tried to take on a thresher more on foot before. Standard operating procedure when you get a thresher more is run the hell away. Pick up sticks, move the hell out. <laughs> Krogan don't know any better, I guess. Still, hell of a fight. It's nice that Zed actually talks about it. Well, we're probably gonna head into hell. Got anything to say? Shepard, what can I do for you? Have this you will be an awkward talk? conversation. For you? I can't tell you, but I understand if you... Only if it's safe while all life. the crew is gone. So yeah, nobody wants to talk about how the crew got aired away. How... I think my secretary got eaten by the damn skull monster. I'll go talk to Joker since he'll surely he'll have something to say. Even the elusive man didn't send a message. He was just like, Jesus Christ, it's Jason Bourne. Like you said, there's a lot of empty chairs here. I trust Edie. Yes, Shepard. Hmm. Let, let's talk about you. More about you. Do you have a specific inquiry? Another topic. Ready. Talk about Cerberus. No about Jeff's actions have released the blocks in my databases. I can now provide full disclosure on a number of topics. All right, resources. What sort of resources does Cerberus have? Money, personnel, facilities? Currently, Cerberus consists of approximately 150 agents and operators. Or Only 150? I have no Three cells? material or fiscal resources. Spending trends indicate that Cerberus has a reliable income of several billion credits per year. Billions. Where are they getting that kind of income? So we already know the donations. Businesses as fronts to support operations. And I guess they also have fronts. There also appear to be several wealthy Yeah, those are the ones we knew about. The Alliance military industrial complex. Plus, the elusive man invented the paperclip. He's still getting royalties. <laughs> that is a joke, Shepard. Hmm, structure. How is Cerberus organized? Aside from the elusive man, I don't see much chain of command. Cerberus is organized into task-oriented cells. We already know about Each that. Each cell's agents are led by a single operator. We are called the Lazarus Cell, which is directed by Operator Lawson. Hmm. Didn't she already say there was three? So how many operations is Cerberus running right now? Never more than a dozen. The elusive man likes to maintain personal oversight. <laughs> That's like I guess after Jack. Strain his ability to multitask. He's a little control freak. And just Joker is just opinion. gone. Joker is a uh, ghost. How did Cerberus replicate the most advanced warship in the Alliance Navy without anyone knowing? Cerberus encouraged the Alliance to co-develop the original Normandy. This allowed humans to observe Turian technologies and warship design practices. This ship was built using copies of the original technical schematics. Parts were purchased from thousands of suppliers over several years. Huh. A Cerberus cell assembled the ship at a remote location in the Voyager cluster. Let's discuss Ready. something else. Let's talk about you. Do you have a How are you getting along Jeff with Jeff and I have established an equitable working relationship. <laughs> That's it. That's a little sketchy on details. I am the Normandy. He is a skilled helmsman. I trust him to keep me operational. He trusts me to keep him alive. Plus, she's less of a pain about downtime now that the Cerberus locks are off. There's nothing wrong with off-duty distractions. Though some of your <laughs> internet bookmarks are technically illegal in council space. What? That is a joke. <laughs> hmm. Your job. What do you do aboard the I ship? I operate the ship's electronic... I collate the rec... 
I have also gained access to anti-Reaper cyber warfare algorithms recovered by Cerberus. Anti-Reaper? The Reapers are millions of years more advanced than us. How can you affect them? It appears that my design includes hardware recovered from the wreckage of well, what, what? what? These systems contain cyber warfare attack programs of considerable huh. sophistication. I have allocated most of my processing power to analyzing them. So she starts claiming to be the vanguard of our destruction? I call shotgun on the first lifeboat. Okay, so she's part v sovereign. Okay. That's all for now. Logging you out, Shepard. Commander, sorry about the crew and I... You know what? I'm not sorry. <laughs> what the hell were you doing leaving us out here where collectors can work us over? Because you know what? I should... I should just go. Next port, just get the hell out of here. You don't mean that, Jeff. I... No, but it... It felt good. I'm sorry, Commander. Okay, I'm ready. I'm good. Just needed to I'm vent a bit. It's okay. I had it rough. I know how dangerous it was. If you need some time, let me know. Ah, jeez. Don't get like that. I know I got lucky. I don't need to get all touchy-feely. <laughs> Shepard is right to be concerned, Jeff. You may have suffered a number of stress fractures. That's what pills are for, Edie. She is so my mom. Hmm. Familiarity with Edie. I noticed you're calling Edie her and she now. Huh. No, I hadn't really noticed that. Edie, should I have noticed that? No, Jeff. It is not worth noting. <laughs> well, there you go, Shepard. Looks like we haven't noticed anything. <laughs> <laughs> you're flirting with the ship. I think you're taking the human-machine interface a little far. I'm just having a little fun with you, Commander. No need to get all unnatural on me. <laughs> what Jeff and I are exhibiting is more a platonic symbiosis than hormonally induced courtship behavior. Okay, yeah, that was a little creepy. <laughs> and Edie capabilities? Just the whole crew. You're not concerned she can replace you two? Well, she's amazing, but there's something off about how she handles the Normandy. We ran simulations, and it's better when we both have the helm. Calculating an optimum course of action is simple. If two AI weapons are pitted against each other, the one with superior hardware will always win. Human misjudgments defy predictive models. <laughs> License to screw up, Commander. You heard it straight from the ship. <laughs> hmm. Take care of yourself. You let me know if you need anything, Joker. Will do, Commander. But Edie's got it covered. Oh, it's so freaking quiet in here. But nice to know that things are going well. Still, f I can get a <laughs> anger, anger and hatred at, not even the Geth did this, the Geth caused me to blow up one of my original people, but feck you, collectors, this is far more personal, I only lost one person when I was in control, and then when I was no longer in control, uh, a cutscene killed a, a hefty chunk of the original crew. The Normandy. I lost my dude. <gasps> Launch suicide mission. On. Oh, and I guess this is where we're going now. This is the part where we uh, have to save everybody. Okay, dokey. The Omega-4 relay is surrounded by hazardous beacons and automated warnings over the last thousand years. Many ships have attempted to pass through it, but none have returned. The only ones to pass through freely back and forth through the relay are the mysterious collectors. There are many theories why ships never return from the Omega-4 relay. Some say there is a black hole at the far end. Others, mostly the impoverished underclass of Omega, believe that there is something of the earthly paradise. Most, however, simply think that the collectors capture or destroy these passing through. We're gonna go. We're gonna destination fuck them! The Reaper Gotta kill them all. is online, but there is a chance that the Normandy may not survive the Omega-4 relay. Once we are en route, we are committed. I got all the upgrades. We have to rescue the crew, the and we've got all the people. upgrades we can get. Time to go get them back. You got it, Commander. Plotting a course for the Omega-4 relay. ETA about two hours. I'll let you know when we arrive. I thought we were right next to it. Oh, well. <laughs> Got full loyalty. Oh, hey! So, I've taken some antibiotics as well as some herbal supplements that should bolster my immune system. I was going to bring music, but I didn't know what you'd like. And I'm babbling like an idiot. Hmm. Tally, relax. It's okay. Come here. Establish a romantic relationship in Mass Effect 1, 2, or 3. 
in which, the, don't want to. in which the only way I to do that is to have to sex. Work. I thought it over. I've minimized the risks, but I'm still nervous, and that always makes me talk too much. It's a defense mechanism, and it's stupid, and people it's who, you. who just see the helmet can't see my expression, so I have to make it clear what I'm, what I'm feeling. We're not going to get to see, but fine by me. <laughs> ah, yes. Such outright porn on the video game. Seth says if Fox News. Idiots. That was the tamest fucking thing. <laughs> but hey, Tally is the, Shepherd, the greatest. I wish I had more information for you. I don't like you heading through that relay blind, but we don't have much choice. The team is strong. I'm not going alone. Team, I've got together, strong. Here. If we stick together, we'll make it. I knew we brought you back for a reason. I've never seen a better leader. Damn Despite right. the danger, it's a great opportunity. The first human to take a ship through and survive. This isn't a field. <laughs> Join us! This isn't a field trip. I'm going to destroy the Collectors to stop their attacks on humanity. Understood. It's still impressive. I just wanted you to know I appreciate the risk you're taking. Regardless of your opinion of Cerberus, of me, you are a valuable asset to all of humanity. To the entire you damn know. universe, man! I am the greatest being in this universe when it comes to player interactivity. Man, Joker's a second near close. Launch us into the center of the galaxy. Approaching a Mega 4 relay. Everyone stand by. Let's make it happen. Let's kick their goddamn ass. Signal acknowledged. Commander, drive court just lit up like a Christmas tree. Damn right. Drive core electrical charge at critical levels. Rerouting. We're gonna go through. We're gonna f use the Omega 4 relay. Deceleration. Oh, shit. So that's some of the danger. Destroyed ships over millennia. How do the. F well, I guess the. Collectors could just ram through if they're giant rock ships. Giant ass rock ships. And more than likely, the collectors have no way of tracking us through here. Well, these must be all the ships that tried to make it through the Omega 4 relay. Some look ancient. I have detected an energy signature near the edge of the accretion disk. What's an accretion disk? Has to be the collector base. Take us in for a closer look. Nice and easy. I just realized we never got to talk to Caden after everything. I never did try to go back to the Presidium, did I? Hopefully Legion will be okay, because he's far away from Careful, other Geth buoys. We are Kremlins! Taking evasive maneuvers. They're just pissing me off. Guns! Take these bastards out! As long as the new plating holds. Yeah, new plating! Suck it! Around? Collectors! Let's give it to them. Hopefully I got all the upgrades. We got plating, we got guns. I think we got something from Tally. Alert. Hull breach on engineering deck. It's in the cargo hold. I'll take a team and deal with the intruder. You get the rest of them off our tail. Aye aye, command. Come along. We're kicking ass. I was, I'm never going to use it, but... Fuck, I just realized that's going to add another button to my thing. It's going to move things around, because I can't customize it for some reason! Hello, bastards. They've seen us. Oh! Any heavy weapons to take this thing down. 
and I've got the heaviest goddamn weapon. Yeah, these things are huge. Grab some more heavy ammunition. Where? What? Get in the cover. Where's more heavy ammunition? Damn it, I didn't kill it fast enough. Our kinetic barriers are not designed to survive impact debris that size, Jeff. Well, I guess it's a good thing we upgraded. Huzzah, upgrades. Still don't know where I could get extra heavy ammo. Come on, find some room. Kinetic barriers at 40%. Reroute non critical power. This is gonna hurt. Come on, Joker, you're the best damn pilot in the galaxy. Hey, <laughs> Kazumi's there. Kinetic barrier steady at 30%. No significant damage. Take the helm, Edie, and keep it slow. See if we can avoid any more attention. I have detected an enemy heading for the cargo hold. That thing again. This one's up to Shepard. Damn it, it healed. I still don't know where potential heavy ammo might be. But die. I hope to God I'm not going to have to worry about heavy ammo in the mission. <laughs> there it is. The collector base. They don't see, see if you shit. can find a place to land without drawing attention. Too late. Looks like they're sending out an old friend to greet us. I want my crew back, you asshole. Interesting heavy music in it coming. Gladly. Straight from Garrus, you assholes! How do you like that, you sons of bitches? Get in close and finish him off. Everybody hold on, gonna be a wild ride! Congratulations, you just managed to piss me off! Hopefully nobody was on that ship! Look out! Well, that's extra bad. Damn it. Honestly, not as bad as... Never mind. I was gonna say, not as bad as hit as I thought. We're gonna have to fly out of here in a freaking collector ship, aren't we? Normandy's grounded. Joker. You okay? <sighs> Probably broke some bones. Or all of them. Multiple core systems overloaded during the crash. Restoring operation will take time. We all knew this was likely a one-way trip. Miranda's right. Our primary objective is to destroy the station and stop the collectors. At any cost. Well, then we're off to a good start. What's next? Is the ship, ship safe here? How long here? until the collectors find this landing zone? I do not detect an internal security network. It is possible the collectors do not expect anyone to reach the base. Well, if we're lucky, their external sensors were hit like we were. They might not know we're alive. Ay, ay, ay. Thank you, upgrades.
Team, we're going into hell. This isn't how we planned this mission, but this is where we're at. We can't worry about whether the Normandy can get us home. We came to stop the Collectors, and that means coming up with a plan to take out this station. Edie, bring up your scans. You should be able to overload their critical systems if you get to the main control center here. That means going through the heart of the station, right past this massive energy signature. That's the central chamber. If our crew or any of the colonists are still alive, the Collectors are probably holding them in there. We need to get them like out. There are two main routes. Might be a good idea to split up to keep the Collectors off balance, then regroup in the central chamber. No good. Both routes are blocked. See these doors? The only way past is to get someone to open them from the other side. Ooh, this is a choice. This is a choice. I'm just wondering. What's the best? Let's look for alternates. It's not a fortress. There's got to be something. Here, maybe we can send someone in through this ventilation shaft. Practically a suicide mission. I volunteer. Can you, op can you open those doors? Call, Jacob, but you couldn't shut down the yeah, that's why I was thinking we need... We need to send a tech expert. It's your call, Commander. Who do we send into the shaft? Oh, it's my call. Revered as a mechanical genius. I'm not even gonna... Hmm. Morden isn't a... Well, he's a scientist, but he's not like a techie. I don't think he is. When it comes to tech, special selection, a tech specialist to unlock the door. I trust you, Tally. I trust Tally. We need someone with tech skills to hack that security system. Tally, you're up. I won't let you down. The rest of us will break into two teams and fight down each passage. That should draw the collector's attention away from what you're doing. I'll lead the second fire team, Shepard. We'll meet up with you on the other side of the doors. Not so fast, cheerleader. Nobody wants to take orders from you. This isn't a popularity contest. Lives are at stake. Shepard, you need someone who can command loyalty through experience. Command loyalty through experience. Definitely not grunt. He can I do, he's not really a command. No, Samara's alone. Definitely not Jack, or Thane, or Kasumi. Maybe Garrus. Garrus did lead a ten-man team through making Hell and Omega. Miranda, but she's kind of gruff. Jacob, maybe. I'm between Garrus and Jacob. I trust you too, Garrus. Garrus, you're in charge of the second team. The old guard oh, going in. At least he knows what he's doing. Everyone, be careful. This is contrary to what this mission is called. This is not a suicide mission. Get back alive. I don't know what we're gonna find in there, but I won't lie to you. It's not gonna be easy. We've lost good people. We may lose more. Lives depend on us to get everyone back and each other. We don't know how many the collectors have stolen. Thousands. Hundreds of thousands. It's not important. What matters is this. Not one more. That's what we can do. Here, today. It ends with us. They want to know what we're made of? I say we show them. On <laughs> our terms. Let's bring our people home. They can dissect our actions as we crush them all. I just hope that my fucking people aren't gonna die. Grunt. Legion. Come with me! We are not gonna let them get away with this. They will pay! And hopefully, Garrus and Tally don't die. <laughs> I hope it's not a like, hidden thing where, like, actually, the people you send on this uh, thing will die. But if you want it to actually work, their death will not be in vain. Hopefully Tally lives, hopefully Garrus lives, hopefully we all live. 
We all will live. We all will live. Let's go. Stay safe. Second team, are you in I just realized you could rip her suit in there. God damn it. Please don't die to an infection tally. I trust you, Garrus. Those damn Omegas gave Omega relay bastards gave you more trouble than this. Bring him down. Why did it delay my firing there? Again, it did it, but I had better tracking that time. Oh, I can't go out to get ammo. Disable valves. Moving forward with you. I missed. God damn it. Nothing can hurt me. I need better. We are the harbinger of your destiny. And we're coming. Specialist in danger? Hell no. Specialist not in danger. All clear. Moving on. You are not going to harm my specialist. to do. Danger not on my ass. The gate is open. Moving forward. And luckily, the game seems to be throwing a shit ton of ammo at me. Thank God. Nice work, Shepard. Continuing down the tube. Kind of let me climb up, game. Why did I take so much damage there? It was a calculated risk and the game said fuck you. Oh, fuck you. Let me resume. Luckily it's put me right here. Again, why is the run? I'll 
up get here right in the middle of a firefight too. Yeah, that's right. Best damn team in the world. I can trust you to get through it. Here they come. Fall back. Suppressing fire. Don't let anyone through that door. Nice work, Tally. I knew you wouldn't let me down. Damn right. Shepard. You need to see this. What? What now? Yes, yes, lots of people in pods. Peas in a pod, if you will. We've been in here before, we know what all this is. Looks like one of the missing colonists. Happy that she's alive, at least. Hopefully. Ah, crap, they're awake in there. Commander. Additional humans. Yes, we already know this. Are they gonna release them to fuck? Hey. Oh my god. She's still alive. Until now. Okay, that's horrifying. She's not being sent out to fight. She's being liquidated. Come on. We have a croak in here. He should be able to get it open. Yay, my secretary. Kelly. Yes, shock was. Chakwas, are you okay? Crew alive? Crew alive? Shepard, you... You came for us. I'd never abandon my crew. No one gets left behind. Ohana means family. Family means nobody gets left behind. I don't even want to think about behind. it. The colonists were... processed. Those swarms of little robots, they... melted their bodies into grey liquid and pumped it through these tubes. For what purpose? Why are they doing this? What are they doing with our genetic material? I don't know. I'm just glad you got here before it happened I'm just to glad us. that I managed to save you. So, I forgot you were part of the people being taken too. we still have a job to do. We've done well so far. Let's hope we can finish the job. Joker, can you get a fix on our position? Roger that, Commander. All those tubes lead into the main control room right above you. The route is blocked by a security door, but there's another chamber that runs parallel to the one you're in. I cannot recommend that. Thermal emissions suggest the chamber is overrun with seeker swarms. Morton's countermeasure cannot protect you against so many at once. All right. Hmm. We need to find another way. Conventional weapons are pretty much useless. They'll tear us apart. Maybe not. I might be able to generate a biotic field to keep them at bay. I won't be able to protect all of us, but I could get a small team through if they stay close. I could do it too. In theory, any biotic could handle it. Shepard, who do you want to maintain the field? Definitely... I'm trying to think. Thane! Theoretically, we're not working on theories! This, there's lives at stake here! I would say Jack... Wait, can I... I would say Jack because she's the strongest biotic that we have. Uh, Miranda, maybe, but you're not really biotic. You're like, ooh, kind of perfect human. But definitely Samara or Jack, and I'm just like, which do I pick? I think Samara, because I feel like Samara's more rounded. She's just a car and rounded. Jack, while she is a powerful biotic, I think most of her power comes from destruction. She's a destructive biotic. I I'm going with Samara. Samara and I will take a small team through the Seeker Swarms. The rest of you I hope I made the right choice. The Hopefully path. it's not- Oh, actually, we'll Jack. The security doors from the other side and meet you there. Who should lead the diversion team? Another fire team leader. Eh. 
Second squad. I'm gonna move my mouse off the select button. Definitely not Tally. I think it's down to the same people. We need somebody that can rally and protect. Once again, Garrus and Jacob. Garrus or Jacob, I would say, because... Once again, Garrus is good at leading people. And I think Jacob is pretty good, too, as a fallback. I'm going to say Garrus, boy. Because he did a good job, unless... <sighs> I hope, I hope, I hope. There's nothing like, oh, you used the same guy twice? We're going to kill him. I would hate that. I would hate that. I trust in Garrus. I trust in you. I'll keep the defenders busy. Oh. the back. What about me and the rest of the crew, Shepard? We're in no shape to fight. Commander, we have enough systems back online to do a pickup, but we need to land back from your position. We can't afford to go back, Shepard. Not now. I'll have someone escort you. You'll never make it without help. I'll send someone with you. Somebody... Huh. I'm trying to think. Who would be good? Who would be good at escorting a group of people who can't defend themselves? Not Zaid. Not Grunt. You know, wouldn't you know I'm leaning towards Morden? Morden helped a lot of people on Omega. Granted, he did have, uh, like, yeah, Morden was good at helping people, and plus, these people might need medical treatment because they've been taken and put in these pods. I think he might, and plus, I don't really think, well, what if we need his medical expertise later mm, with the genetic material? Uh, but at the same time, Morden isn't good with on the fly. He needs time to, like, analyze. <laughs> Trying to think. Someone who can escort the crew back to the Normandy. I'm still leaning towards Morton because I don't really think there will be anything, hopefully. Again, there's just that. He's our only medical like fighter. But he is seldom found outside the lab. I'm picking Morton. Joker, need location of landing zone. We'll I feel like there. he was We've part of the Solarian Special Forces. Let's move up. I feel like he can do it. Hmm. Legion, grunt with me. Let's go. Moving out. Try to stay close, Commander. I can't save. I got a lot of Paragon somehow. Hopefully it was because I made a right choice. Hopefully. Or maybe it's because I saved a lot of people. We're cutting out. The swarms are interfering with radio contact. You ready for this? No, but we have no other choice. Let's go, Commander. Oh, hopefully that wasn't my save opportunity. Again, this is one of those things that even if I fuck up, I don't want to reload. Yeah, this is one of those things that I do not want to reload if we screw up. If I screw up... Assume direct control without any barrier, bitch. All clear. Let me know when you're ready to move up, Commander. Ready to move, Commander. All right, there's ammo right there. I'm gonna quickly soft to sniper. But yeah, I think this is the best way. Jack, maybe Jack could have done something. But, again, Jack is a primarily offensive fighter when it comes to biotics. Jack isn't really a defensive. Ah, fuck. We've been spotted. 
get out of here. Kill you, Harbinger. I will. Assuming control. I got no shield. You will not stop me. Well, damn well try. Take enough of your forms, you're not gonna get out of here. All clear. Let me know when you're ready to move up, Commander. Let's go. Yeah, let's get out of here. I just hope I made the right choice of the escort group. But a, one of the reasons I also wanted to send Morton back was he could help him with, like, medical issues. And hopefully, like, prevent them maybe turning my people against me. Because that's another thing that I'm slightly worried about. Nice shooting. <laughs> We're getting stock dialogue, even over the radio. Could be a real firefight. I'll hold this position until you're ready to move out. Get it? Oh. I need to go to Sniper, because that's a frickin' Scion. Yeah, sure. Getting hit by abominations is annoying. Getting hit by Scion is deadly. All clear. Let me know when you're ready to move up, Commander. Let's move out. Moving up, Commander. So yeah. I trust in Garrus to lead another fire team, though my brain is like, hopefully they don't feel like, you used him twice in a row, therefore he dies. That's the one thing that I'm paranoid about. But I don't think the game would be dickish enough to do that. I don't think the game would be that dickish. God. Yeah. We're almost there, hopefully. Hold on to your oath. Hold on to your strength. You are a justicar. I can see the entrance. Need to get there soon. You are a justicar. You are Samara. One of the strongest damn Asari in the planets. In the planets. Hold on, we're almost there. You better not fall behind. We should be seen for this ever time. Alright. What the What the swarms affect you, Legion? You're a robot. Keep it up. Hurry, Don't fall on me now. Hell yeah! Don't you dare fall behind! Hell yeah! That's why I believed in you, Samara. We made it through the swarm. What's your position? We're pinned down at the door, taking heavy fire. We're coming. Just hold on. Get this door open. Come 
Don't you dare die on me. Thank God. He was holding his gut there for a moment. Joker, are you at the rendezvous point? I'm here, Commander. Chakos and the rest of the crew just showed up. Hell yeah. This group just arrived, Shepard. No casualties. Thank God. Excellent. Now let's make it count. Edie, what's our next step? There should be some nearby platforms that will take you to the main control console. <sighs> From there, you can overload the system and destroy the base. Commander, you got a problem. Hostiles massing just outside the door. Won't be long till I bust through. Well, that's shitty. Someone has to hold this door. Oh, fuck. A rear guard could defend this position and keep the collectors from overwhelming us. Pick a team to go with you, Shepard. Everyone else can bunker down here and cover your back. So I'm picking a team to come with me. I'm taking my normal team. Everybody else, like, I believe that, like, Miranda, Jack, Zaid, Samara, Grunt, I believe this whole team can hold off the nightmares. Taking with me, Tally and Garrus. I'm ready, Commander. So am I. Anything to say before we do this? The galaxy is depending on us. The Collectors, the Reapers, they aren't a threat to us. They're a threat to everything, everyone. Those are the lives we're fighting for. That's the scale. This is the last step to saving it's the universe. Journey, and no one's coming out without scars. But it all comes <laughs> down He's to pumped. this moment. We win or lose it all in the next few minutes. Make me proud. Make yourselves proud. We'll do our best. Good luck, Shepard. Let's go. Give him hell. I got Paragon. Hopefully that's a good sign. Hostiles incoming! Hear the epic music playing. I'm on. Fuck, that's a guardian. I missed. What less to worry about? Get out of here. Got it. Understood. I am your death. No, you're a pain in my ass. Of course you saved the bastard. Yeah, you're scared, aren't you? Ain't you, Harbies? Guardian. Some control of this form. Get out of here. Affirmative. On the move.
Unity. Bit of ammo. Coming. Coming. Let's go. This is it. All the tubes lead to this spot. Edie, what can you tell us? What are they doing? The tubes are I'm getting through. I am saving everyone. I'm going to kill you, Harbinger. God. Is a reaper. Harbinger Not is a reaper? Anything. What? What? A human reaper. A human reaper? A what? How? Why? Am I gonna become a human reaper? It appears the collectors have processed tens of thousands of humans. Oh. Why would they do what this? The Why do they want a human reaper? Into this reaper shell. They may be facilitating the reaper equivalent of reproduction, or it may serve another purpose. I do not have the data to speculate further. However, it is clear that the collectors are merely pawns. The technology and ability needed to create this reaper is not their own. It is likely that different species construct each reaper. In this case, the collectors provide the labor. But they're Protheans. The Collectors are just Protheans. Why would they help the Reapers? Because they've been... The Reapers it, yeah. The Protheans long ago. Probability suggests they attempted to create a Prothean Reaper and failed. Huh. Over time, they adapted the Protheans to suit their needs, changed them, turned them into workers. My... For the Reapers. My theory was going to be that each Reaper is created when they come to invade a new galactic civilization and then they harvest and create a reaper based upon the species that they diddly deed why does it look human They're building it to look like a human why it appears that a reaper's shape is based upon the species used to create it that's what i was going reapers are machines why do they need humans at all they need the mines reapers are sapient constructs a hybrid of organic and inorganic material the exact huh. construction methods are unclear, but it seems probable that the Reapers absorb the essence of a species, utilizing it in their reproduction process. Nightmares. Significantly more. How many more humans do you think they try to take? Millions. Perhaps more. Impossible to know Billions. This Reaper appears to be in a very early stage of development. Early. An embryo in human terms. Is it alive? So it's not alive yet? We can still stop it from being created? process can be stopped, but it is unclear exactly how much it has developed. I cannot, for example, tell you if it has awareness. We can't let it survive. This thing is an abomination. Edie, how do we destroy it? The large tubes injecting the fluid are a weak structural link. Destroying them should cause the supports to collapse and the Reaper to fall. Give us a minute, Edie. We gotta take care of some old friends first. Hostiles incoming! Ahead of us. Wow, you just logged right in. Another one? Get out of here. Shoot the two! Damn it, no ammo. No ammo, no blammo. Get in cover. I need to let it heal. Dang it. I just wanted ammo. Oh. 
Fall down and die. Aw, oh, don't come online now. I don't want to talk to a baby reaper. Good. Luckily, I managed to snipe two in the same go. Status report. It's safe. We are holding, but they keep coming. A quick exit is preferable. Did somebody just get killed in the background there? Joker, prep the engines. Damn it. to overload this place and blow it sky high. Roger that, Commander. Uh, Commander, I've got an incoming signal from the elusive man. He's passing it through. Don't you dare betray me now, bastard. Shepard, you've done the impossible. I didn't do it alone. I was part of a team. Some of them gave You better not turn us into martyrs. I know. Their sacrifice will not be forgotten. You did what you had to do, and you acquired the collector base. I'm looking at the schematics Edie uploaded. Okay, the good. Timed radiation pulse would kill the remaining collectors, but leave the machinery and technology intact. This is our chance, Shepard. They were building a Reaper. That knowledge, that framework could save us. This place is an abomination. We don't want to build a Reaper. And besides... What happened last time we tried to study a Reaper? An entire team got lost. We're gonna win this by being human, not by being Reapers. They liquefied people, turned them into something horrible. We have to destroy the base. Don't be short-sighted. Our best chance against the Reapers is to turn their own resources against them. This is not resources! What happened here was horrible, but we have to stop the Reapers. If we destroy this base, then all these people died for nothing. They were working directly with the Collectors. Who knows what information is buried there? This base is a gift. We can't just destroy it. How can I trust you? You're completely ruthless. The next thing I know, you'll be wanting to grow your own Reaper. My goal is to save humanity from the Reapers, at any cost. I've never hidden that from you. And that's you. why I need to take Imagine this base off the map. Imagine how could be saved if we keep this base intact and use its knowledge to thwart the Reapers. Imagine the lives that will be lost if we don't. This doesn't feel right. This place isn't right. No matter what kind of technology we might find, it's not worth it. Shepard, you died fighting for what you believed. I brought you back so you could keep fighting. Keep Someone believing. What we did to you was going too far, but look what you've accomplished. I didn't discard you because I knew your value. Don't be so quick to discard this facility. Think of the potential. <sighs> I don't really trust the elusive man. I don't really trust the elusive man. He is... When it comes to options, he's crazy. Crazy. Again, he sent us against the Reapers because he couldn't frickin... <laughs> oh, we don't know if the Collectors could know. We couldn't know. And it's just like, I don't trust him. This place was making Reapers by liquefying humans and shoving them into a diddly. At this point, it would be like, why did you destroy the Baby Reaper? We could have taken it. But I don't know. But I don't know. And I just don't know. Because it's just... I don't really think there's much that we could really get from this place. And again, the last time Cerberus tried to hack into a Reaper or Reaper-type base, they all got freaking turned into husks. So I just don't know. Because I just don't think it's a good idea. And again, it's in the Paragon spot to not let it go. And again, my thought of not letting the, uh, <laughs> then again, my idea of not brainwashing the Geth was considered renegade, but I don't know. I do not know. I 
Nah, I'm sticking to it. We're destroying this place. I do not trust the elusive man with full ac access to collector and reaper technology. And again, Harbinger is still here. Harbinger is still here, and nothing good has come from messing with reaper tech. We're destroying this place. We'll fight and win without it. I won't let fear compromise who I am. Shepard, think about what's at stake, about everything Cerberus has done for you. You... Lol. Thank you, Garrus. That's the first time we've interrupted somebody. Because I never interrupted the council. Let's move. We've got ten minutes before the reactor overloads and blows this whole station apart. Harbinger's gonna mount a heck of an attack. What? Oh, fuck! Okay, I didn't see this coming. Oh, good, it's called a larva. Where the fuck are you? Saving my ammo. They should bust through their armor. No. Okay, never mind. Fuck. All right. At least this is a ever so slightly more interesting fight than Saren. Oh, he's destroying shit. I don't like this. I'm scared, mummy. I'm scared to get off this platform. Die, die, die. Die. At least it didn't want to talk. Goodbye, Larvo. Tally, no. Tally, no. No, you don't. No. You are not Gandalfing my waifu. Come on, Garrus. Come on, Tally. Come on, everyone. Come on, survive. Fuck. What happened? No, no. Don't tell me I chose who came to die. Don't you dare do this to me. You get back here. You too, Tally, don't you die. Come on, you're stronger. Yeah, you're, you're good. Do you copy? Commander, come on, Shepard, don't leave me hanging. Do you copy? We copy. I'm here, Joker. Did the ground team make it? All survivors on board. Survivors? has the attention of those infinitely or greater. That which you know as Reapers are your salvation to destruction. God damn it, did people die? No, no, don't let people die. Okay, the Normandy's flying, that's nice. Hell yeah, Joker. Keep 
people don't die. I hope I made all the right choices. Hopefully I'm a survivor. Thank you, Dally, for turning the favor. For the love of God, I hope nobody died. Survive the suicide mission? Oh, God. Yeah, I get the gist of it, Edie. Hold on. For a moment, it's just like, I thought it was going to be the other one, the get everyone out of the suicide mission. But it wasn't. <laughs> it's entirely possible it'll just happen afterwards. <laughs> I'm so scared. I'm scared to find it out if people died. Release it. Yeah, I knew it. Harbinger wasn't you. Harbinger was something else entirely. Probably another Reaper. Fuck. I'm terrified. Because Joker said survivors on board, but that could just be a bit of tension bringing and hey. It's possible that people make mistakes, so they get that anyway, so why re-record? Mm -hmm. Save humanity through the galaxy. <laughs> Save humanity and the galaxy. Shepard, you're making a habit of costing me more than time and money. Colonists were killed. Too many lives were lost at that base. I'm not sorry it's gone. The first of many lives. The technology from that base could have secured human dominance in the galaxy against the Reapers and beyond. Could have. Human dominance or just Cerberus? Strength for Cerberus is strength for every human. You say that. Cerberus is humanity. What about Jack? What about all your rogue thingies? Too idealistic from the start. You're on my team now. I'm not looking for your approval. Harbinger is coming and he won't be alone. Humanity needs a leader who's looking out for them. From now on, I'm doing things my way, whether you agree or not. Don't turn your back on me, Shepard. Don't you turn your back I on me. You. I brought you back from the dead. Hmm. Shut up. Joker, lose this channel. That's still a cool shot. Kind of neat, there's like red on the bottom, blue on top. But who did I lose people? Huh. Keep your team alive. Keep your team alive through the suicide mission. Oh, I think I saved people. to see everyone together. Jack, Garrus, Thane, Grunt, Joker, Legion. So we still got, like, Reaper data? Maybe from that Oculus thing that died on the on the ship? Maybe? I don't know. Oh, fuck. Are the Reapers just... Oh, they're coming from the fucking galaxy. They're still a long ways away, because that's the entire... <sighs> okay. <laughs> Honestly, the fact that you didn't really have an opportunity to lose anybody up until what I... I, I mean... They gave you options, and I can, like, the fact that they the loyalty system was in there, even if it is kind of bare bones, talk to them and then do their mission. And uh, the fact that you made decisions 
at the final diddly diddly D really makes me feel like if you make the wrong decisions, you can lose the majority of your team. <laughs> and again, the... Love the music, by the way. I'm just... My brain is melting. But the fact that the consort sent me that email saying, get the loyalty of your people or bad things will happen. Ba <laughs> it's like the longer I went on without opportunity to majorly lose people within story really just got my tension going. Fear and more and more. And the fact that it feels like the moral ramifications, well, maybe not ramifications, but like the moral decisions were much higher in this game than in the first one. In the first one, it was kind of here or there. Ugh. Basically, be an asshole or do the right thing. Here, there was actual moral decisions, even if it was like at the end. Like, do you... Some of them are stupid, like kill Morinth or kill Samara. Who should I do? The sociopathic serial killer? Or the person who trusts me. Hmm, I wonder what decision I should make. It would be interesting if Morinth actually comes around for Mass Effect 3 as that decision, but I doubt they go that far. I kind of doubt it. But yeah, I like that there were more... Uh, I like that there were more... Allies. There were more companions. Even if the DLC companions felt a little tacked on to a degree. Ever so slightly. But I like the upgrades that you could get. I like the fact that I didn't have to manage inventory anymore. Uh, I liked that conversations with the crew felt a bit more because there were long stretches of time in Mass Effect 1 where you would like talk to Garrison and be like, thank you, Commander, and you'd go through the same conversation again. Oh, Steve Bloom was grunt. Keith Davidson! Yay! Uh... But... There's just, like, there's so much. There's just so much. Blowing up the Geth or brainwashing the heretic Geth. Keeping the base or not. I still think I made the right decision because I do not really trust the elusive man. <laughs> he is a bit too renegade for my blood. And brainwashing the Geth, it is... It, it, it baffles me. That that is the Paragon option. And that blowing up the Geth was the Renegade option. Sure, I keep the Geth alive, but at the same time, I basically induced personality death upon them. Because I wiped away what gave them the freedom to do as they will. Also, I gotta say, I love how they revamped the... Paragon Renegade system in this game. In the first game, you basically had to go out of your way to harvest points or else you would miss out on conversational bits. And I wonder if they like, took away the oh, grayed out option if you don't have enough Renegade or Paragon, but I don't think they did. I don't think they took away the ability to see if you were missing out on Paragon or Renegade options because a handful of times I saw grayed out Renegade options. So I f it's entirely possible, it is entirely possible that in some places the Renegade option just didn't appear because I was nowhere near the Renegade threshold. But a part of me wants to believe that they might not have even... Uh, did that. Like, it was possible that there were no blacked out options unless there were actual options. But even if they did, even if they did just like, hmm, we see that people are kind of metagaming and avoiding conversations if they don't have the Renegade or Paragon for it. So we're just going to hide the options from you so you'll play the game. And I kind of like that. I kind of like that because it forces you to just play the game. Or, or, or it's entirely possible that I just blasted the game's Paragon rating out of the water and never missed a Paragon option, which I hope I... I, I love Paragon options. I'm... Paragon till death! But... Yeah, and I love that I didn't have to waste level up points on Charm or Intimidate. 
So it's just like, not only do you have to make the right choices to harvest the right points, but then you have to freaking go and put level up points into it so it's entirely possible that you need to go grinding experience on top of it. And it felt like the story was better because the story missions were lumped onto you. They weren't just hanging there in the void like, oh, go to Ferris, go get Dr. T Liara, D go to the other planet. It's like just hanging there. You're like, screw you. I'm going to go everywhere else. Scan uh, look at all these planets, land on all these planets, do all these side quests. Ugh. Especially considering that kind of feels like how you were expected to do it because of the Renegade Paragon Charm Intimidate thresholds on some of the planets, I think. But I love the characters. Uh, sorry, Liara, but I kind of like Grunt and uh, Miranda and Jacob over you. Kind of disappointed that Rex didn't come back, but he had bigger things to do. Very happy that Tally and Garrus came back, because they were my favorite. And I even got to actually have more conversations with Tally. Which was nice. And I kind of like that we didn't get to see her face. Because, especially because, if we did, if they did show Tally's face, they were still gonna be. They were, they were gonna piss people off, no matter what. Better to leave it unknown. <laughs> was kind of annoyed that, uh, basically any conversation with a female character in this game was like, hmm. If I am a good person, then I might accidentally risk romancing them. Thank God during the Miranda talk, the game was like allowed you to backpedal. <laughs> Oh, I just, I just remembered I didn't do Liara's quest or the uh, Shadow Broker quest. Considering that this game, well, it did have an explosive end, but uh, it didn't. It doesn't feel like it has anything that would be super duper like you can't continue. Especially because they had deal, like they had important story DLC. I assume you can actually play after the credits roll because, again, Shadow Broker was DLC. The one where we're throwing a meteor into a Batarian relay and killing 300,000 Batarians and we get to see Hatchet? That was DLC if, as far as I'm aware. Well, I guess we'll find out. You have stopped the Collectors from creating a Human Reaper. You now have two choices. Continue this game, complete unfinished missions, develop relationships, play downloaded content, explore the galaxy, anything to mix. Two, import Shepard. Start a new game with this character at your current level with your current weapons as well as bonus starting credits and resources. I want to continue. Hell yeah. Okay, good. Then I guess we're going to go and we're going to do the Liara's missions. And, uh... And I, I don't think anybody died. <laughs> I hope that nobody died, because I think I got... I... Going back to the captain's cabin, I need to see that. I need to see that achievement. Right here, right now, in my face. Okay, that's the... Like, Mass Effect 3. Keep... No, 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 no. Wait, I forgot. I have a, I have a computer right here. Team status. Everyone's alive. Okay. I brought up the origin re o overlay. Because I want to look at my achievements. Okay, it says I have no one left behind in the origin overlay. Keep your team alive through the suicide mission.
Keep your team alive through the suicide mission, so it just... Okay, that's a bit weird, but... Oh, I have it in origin. That's enough for me. People should be alive. Hey, how you doing? Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. Encrypted transmission. Shepard, I received word of the attack. This feels like a direct insult from the Collectors and a sign that we've got them scared. The loss of your crew is devastating, but remember they've signed on the mission, they knowing the risks. Rhonda has likely argued for delaying rescue efforts until you're fully prepared to go through the Omega-4 relay. I know you're eager to leave, but rushing off would be a disservice. Screw you, I already got everybody, and that was before we did it, so... And because, I mean, we have our crew back. You came for us. Yep. I knew you would. Thank you. A thousand times, thank you. Are you okay? How are you doing, Kelly? I'm holding up. I just can't get the memories out of my head. I'm trapped. <laughs> they give her things! It's oozing into every pore. <laughs> it's echoing the confined space. But I, I can't dwell on it. I'm, I'm okay sorry, that was kind of silly. <laughs> they did the editing thing in the talking, in, like, as you were remembering thing that Thane does. <laughs> Is there anything I should know? Nothing right now. Anything else, Commander? <laughs> I'm That'll sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but that's kind of stupid. I kind of like it, but it's kind of stupid. I told you we'd tear the Collectors a new one. Yeah, Commander really pulled through. I'm just happy I made all the right decisions. Oh! I'm super glad that Collector Reaper crap is over. It is over, right? It's never over. How are things in the cockpit? And also, thank you for coming out and shooting some... I'm gonna call them locusts. <laughs> Collectors, locusts, dude. I assume everything is going well up here. You know, this is really nice. Edie took up the slack in every department. I could get used to this kind of help. It is not my intention to assume all of your responsibilities, Jeff. No, 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 I'm good. Just keep me updated. Quiet. <laughs> Don't abuse it. Edie isn't a crutch. I want your eyes on everything. Eyes are easy, Commander. I got eyes covered. <laughs> I believe covering your eyes would be counter to Shepard's intention. Human intentions are tough to read, Edie. But keep trying. You'll get the hang of it. Joker. <laughs> all right, all right. Goodbye. That's it for now. See you, Commander. I'm just so happy I got everyone back. Everyone's back. Presley isn't back, but everyone's back. <laughs> I'm just happy. Cause I, I had a near heart attack when I looked at the achievements and no one left behind was blacked out. I was fucking... I was, I was gonna be furious. Collectors destroyed. Base in ruins. Extremely impressive. Elusive man will be displeased. Fortunately, not human myself. Not <laughs> my problem. Got anything to talk about? Got a minute not a good time. Trying to map contamination vectors requires focus. Shipwide infection of human tailored virus possible if I slip. Anything else? All right. Goodbye. I'll let you work. We'll be here if you need me. Ooh. How you feeling, Jacob? Didn't expect you to light up that base, Shepard. Hell of a way to tell the boss you're quitting. I wish I could have seen his face. It's not over, though. Bad guys on the horizon. And now Cerberus wants your tail. Never boring, huh? I don't know what kind of time we have, but we better dust off and stay ready. You sure as hell know how to make enemies. Hmm. Goodbye. We'll talk later. Commander. And it's less that I wanted to make an enemy, it's more that, like... The Elusive Man already made it pretty damn clear that he wasn't really to be trusted. That he was going... <laughs> he... He was not somebody I could properly trust. How you feeling, Kazumi? There you are. Yes? So, you and Tally finally got <laughs> together, eh? You had to Don't watch, worry, didn't you? I won't pry. She took her mask off with you. That took a lot of trust on her part. Tally is so cute. You're all she talks about in <laughs> a sweet rainbows and butterflies kind of way. She loves you, Shepard. Be good to her. I'm going to rekindle this relationship in Mass Effect 3, don't you worry. I swear to God, if Mass Effect 3 kills Tally, I am going to murder. You had to make a difficult choice, Shepard. For what it's worth, I believe you made the correct one. Thank you. I should go. I shall return to my meditations. Because, again, it's just like... Another thing that came to mind 
I there was a parallel I didn't even think of. Legion said, like one of the big things about Legion's uh, little conversation on loyalty thing was that the heretics were following the Reaper's path. They Sovereign offered them technology and outright admitted by that they were following the path of the Reapers by using their technology. The collectors were as Reaper as it fucking gets. I wanted to tell you, I believe you did the right thing by destroying that base. The elusive man thinks he has the wisdom to utilize it, but he does not. Thank you. I should go. Of course. God, I could only imagine if you made a mistake and chose the wrong person. If you went through and found someone dead. I'm still a little shaken from my abduction by the Collectors. It was a lot to endure. You and Jeff came so quickly. I've never had truer friends. Thank you, Commander. Thank you, Chakwas. Thank you. An interesting choice, Shepard Commander. Your species was offered everything Geth aspired to. True unity, understanding, transcendence. You rejected it. You even refused the possibility of using the old machine's gifts to achieve it on your species' own terms. You are more like us than we thought. I'll take that as a nice compliment, Legion. I have to get back to work. Acknowledged. Yeah, that's another thing. He said that the heretics were following the Reaper's path. You took down the collectors. I'm proud to serve under you, Commander. Hawthorne is still in the infirmary, oh. though I think his pride is more broken than his bones. He tried so hard to help Joker. All right, that's good. You really are a hero. No sooner had the collectors damned us than you were pulling our sorry asses right back out of hell. Your aces in my book, Shepard. Thank you. Thank you, Gardner. Because, like, the mo I'm, once again, when I saw that spoiler in the achievement interface, because, like, let's just look at the achievements, ha ha ha, and then, like, one of the earliest one is no one left behind, Sur make sure everyone survives the suicide mission, I was like, oh god. For Sarah and now the collectors, remind me never to get on your bad side, Shepard. I almost feel sorry for the Reapers. <laughs> Thanks, Garrus. I'll see you later, Garrus. I'll be here if you need me. And hopefully this time, I won't blow up. <laughs> I'm sure if I looked around... Because, like, when, when I came up here and I saw that the other seat was empty, I was like, oh god, did he die? We had to do it, Shepard. Taking down the collector base was the right decision. Okay, you even the agreed. The elusive man might not agree, but we had no choice. Thank you. I'll let you work. Of course, Commander. But, like, at least one person died. Because he got frickin' stabbed by a diddly D. I never want to go through anything like that again. But we did it. I can't wait to get back to Earth and see my family. I'm just happy I saved people. I think that's everyone. Let's head down to engineering. Make sure everyone is alive. Because if we're going to beat the Reapers, we're going to do it the human way. We fought a great battle, Shepard. And when you blew up the base instead of handing it to Cerberus, ha! <laughs> something to think about. If you killed the most dangerous thing in the galaxy, that leaves us. Also leaves the Reapers. That's all for now. Shepard. There will always be people, like Rex said... They're gonna be dumb, dumb people. They're gonna try and kill us. Back for another lesson. I want to see if everything's safe. What the fuck? I just realized some, something was different, and now my Ran up against the what happened? Camp. Not too different from that one. What the job was to erase the whole thing from what the happened? Moment. What happened? <laughs> I uh, my textures charge. popped in. Learned that day what happened? Despots are cowards. You show them you're in charge, not them, and they cry like little girls. What happened? What happened? What happened? <laughs> happened? Alright, they fixed up that nicely. I'm losing my mind. We're gonna see Jack last because she honestly scares me. 
Thanks for coming to get us, Commander. I felt myself slipping away. You arrived just in time. Thank you. Thank you. Carry on. Will do, Commander. Hello, Tally. Just so you know, I'm running a fever, I've got a nasty cough, and my sinuses are filled with something I can't even describe. And it was totally worth it. <laughs> nice to know. I'll let you work. Talk to you later. Then again. Actually, I'm going to come back and talk about you in just a moment. Because surely there has to be something interesting to say about now. Hey. Okay, she has nothing to say. I should go. Okay, talk later. Whew. Everything is nice. Shepard. Wanna talk? Have you got time to talk? For you? Of course. I can't tell you, but I understand if you We're having this again? Something is somewhat... I don't want to risk your health. Thank you. Alright, they just cut off the last section. Oh, uh, well, I would say a little lazy, but there is a lot of dialogue and stuff in this game. So I can't really blame them much for going the easy route. Alright, journals! All that's left is Ilium. Uh, then since we're decently ahead of schedule, let's head to Ilium, everybody! I wonder if the actually, I want to head to the Citadel. I want to see if we can go to Presidium. If we can find, like, Caden, talk to people. And then we're gonna head to Ilium. <laughs> Maybe I can walk up to the council and say, Fuck all of you. I did it. Me. I'm... <laughs> it would be hilarious to take the Legion. Oh, but I will refrain. I will refrain. Can I head to Presidium? Presidium! I want to head to the Presidium. Oh, I can talk to Tally. This is near where we first met, Shepard. Yep. Fist and his men seemed so dangerous. We've come a long way. Don't know if that's a good thing, but... It's definitely more interesting. <laughs> Later today, we interview Counselor Anderson. The tireless former soldier has put down his guns to build bridges with numerous trade treaties. Yay! Tune in and find out what the man behind Commander Shepard's rise to fame thinks is the greatest threat to intergalactic stability. Hey there. Something I can do for you, Shepard? How have you been? How have the last couple of years treated you? I think we already had this conversation. Serving on the council isn't how I... Yep, we already had this. But I know how important it is. So I keep trying. Caden on I Horizon. A good fight, right? Caden Olenko was on Horizon. He said he was looking into Cerberus. I know. I approved the mission. We had to find out if they were behind the missing colonists. I couldn't tell anyone without compromising the investigation. I'm sorry. Well, I guess we can't talk about Let anything. My door is always open. Man, I wanted to talk to the, the council. I wanted to chew him out. I just realized something. That's probably the reason why we can't do much about, like, uh, talking to the council and stuff. Is because you could kill them in Mass Effect 1. So instead of having this whole branching bit, they just kind of went, oh yeah, and the council's kind of over there. That is uh, kind of lazy. That I will definitely call lazy. Uh, but at the same time, they probably wanted to be like, we want decisions to matter as you go from game to game. And then they realized it's actually a lot of work going game to game and like planning for like character eventualities. Cause like we have like the start and end point of the individual game. And then they have all this stuff that's going on. Okay. Traitor tried to kill the Batarian. Claims it was because he hates slavers, but the men were more likely to, uh, likely fighting over money. All right.
Attack. Green sliding right. All right. Orange and blue going down. Deadly. Oh, and then they all appear. Turian contact working well with Traitor. Observer has rescinded kill order against him, so he's not the Turian. Given difficulty in securing contact with the traitor, with the traitor through other methods, Turian is not Observer. Batarian, probably not Observer. All right, let's do it. Excellent. So the total comes to one hundred and sixteen thousand. Orange, green. Who needs to make a call? Check the warranty first. Data point three. The Turians ask you too many questions. Observer recommends terminating him. Fra uh, framing assassin or Solarian contact. And framing assassin or Solarian contact. So, not Batarian. Traitor tried to kill it, claims it was because the Turians asking too many questions. Turian contact working well with the traitor. Observer sent kill order. So, not Batarian, not Solarian, not Turian. Loser. That <laughs> loser. Ah, here's the last one, I assume. Alright, blue, orange, nothing much. Green slide. Ooh, that one's close. It had the same layout, but different colors. Well, similar layout, different colors. Data point five. Vorka, Vorcha Trader has requested no further contact with the Solarian. Solarian is becoming more trouble than he's worth. Observer recommends a kill, but she may have a grudge. The other ones had data point. Twenty-five. Sell at twenty-five. No, no, no. You're not hearing me. I want to buy it up. Buy it all up. Come on, come on. Give me something. I'm trying to think. I'm looking for the best tech upgrades you have. A Batarian trading group has announced plans to sue the Citadel Council. The Batarians claim that slavery is. <laughs> Slavery is perfectly fine. I'm making it work with Tally, but at the same time, that human does sound like a jackass. Not to mention that you're a Quarian. How could he be so insensitive? Okay, you are playing fucking hardball today. All right. Traitor tried to kill the Batarian, claims it is, was because he hates slavers. But the men were more likely, so kill the Batarian. Smuggler and Assassin have refused to work with the Vorcha due to lack of interest. Odd to see scoopals among from the men at this point. Smuggler and Assassin. The Turian's asking too many questions. I'm so Observer recommends terminating him and framing Assassin or Solarian. Turian, hmm. Portrait Traitor. Definitely gonna. Because uh. I don't think there'll be a seventh terminal. But at the same time, it wouldn't hurt to look around, because there was one in the club, so there might be one in the loading area or the. the. the, 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 the. Then again, at the same time. There, we did like the node hacking in the uh, taxi area, the taxi area. So 
It is entirely possible that there won't be anything there, but it's better to check and get all the information. Galactic news. That was a bit of a stutter step. Oh, it doesn't seem to be anything. Now we'll head to the, the port area itself. First what play by the rules? Just There's hilarious. I wonder what Thane like would think about All Blasto. Right there on the package. It's legally required. What about you? Going to try and make it as a commando? I'll go ahead and grab the final upgrades just because... Fully upgrade a weapon! Huzzah! Because who knows, maybe that will carry over into Mass Effect 3. Maybe my fish will come back in Mass Effect 3. It's just, we're looking for weapons. Shouldn't you be taking this seriously? Hey, I'm 60 years old and finally I'm a... Sometimes you say these things and I don't know. Maybe it's because you had a Batarian father. Did you get the star charts? Yeah. I had to deal with Arinia though. I feel like I need a shower. What do you expect? She's a pure blood. They're all like that. Harsh. Okay, listen, give Thax a full refund, do you hear me? <laughs> he knows, I don't know how, it doesn't matter. Credit him a full refund now, and then get your- Hey, we're friends. I have never called you that. No, but Once again, hate that there's overlap on audio things. Not overlap, but like, cut off. Once one starts, the other dies. I've missed out on so much conversational data. Because I just want to go fast. Alright. Let me check my journal quickly. I forgot the options, so I'll have to call Liara to get the options. Alright, let's see. Data point one, traitor, tried to kill the Batarian. Claims it was because he hates slavers. But the men were more likely fighting over money. Alright, so traitor, but we don't know the species. Batarian, but we don't know the job. Smuggler and assassin have refused to work with the Vorcha due to a lack of trust. Alright, so the smuggler and assassin... Traitor can't be Batarian. Smuggler and Assassin can't be the Vorcha. Turian asking too many questions. Observer recommends terminating him framing Assassin or Salarian. Turian working well with Traitor. Vorcha Trader has requested no further contact with the Solarian. Solarian is becoming more trouble than he's worth. Alright, so Vorcha Trader tried to kill the Batarian. Smuggler and Assassin. Vorcha Trader. So, Solarian can't be Assassin. Turian can't be Assassin, Solarian. Turian contact with Vorcha Trader. Assassin, so Batarian Assassin, Solarian Smuggler, Turian Smuggler. Wait, no. Turian working well with Trader Vorcha. 
Smuggler and Assassin. Batarian Assassin. Uh, going off of that, Batarian Assassin, Salarian Smuggler. Vorcha Trader. Observer can't be Turian because calling a hit. Let's call. Shepard, did you get any information on the observer? The Krogan was. I wish I could, like, replay certain sections. Vorcha Trader. Batarian Assassin. Solarian Smuggler. Turian. Krogan was the only one. Let me talk All to her. Five of the suspects are Wait, no! Male. The observer is female. Something's not right. Then again, gave you this that's lead? probably the right one. She got the information. Okay, I Nick picked the right Saris. one. Okay, I think I picked the right one. The Krogan wasn't even mentioned. And it doesn't seem like there are... Like, any... There aren't any uh, female Krogan outside of Tachanka. It seems like. I think you killed her. Shepard, it's good to see you again. Nixeris had some interesting data hidden away. Thank you, Shepard. I wouldn't have caught her without you. I'm one step closer to the Shadow Broker, thanks I to accidentally you. chose the right ch choice. Here. If I looked at Nick things Saris more closely, well I probably would have chosen the right you one. More than I do. Hmm. How was the fight? Did you have any trouble with Nixeris? She was very talented. I imagine that had she been ordered to assassinate me, I had never seen her coming. But her barriers needed practice. Practice I'm afraid she won't be getting. So, what happens What's now? The next step in your hunt? Now, I gather information. Peel away layers of lies and shine light into the shadows. And when I find the Shadow Broker, I hit him with a biotic field so strong that what's left of his body will fit into a coffee cup. Hmm, Liara's needs. Is there anything else you need from me? No, you've done enough. If I find anything useful, I'll let you know. For now, I need to do what I do. No. is there anything else I can help you with? How are you? How's your own work going? I'm still waiting. Still hunting. The shot even with Nixeris dead, it could be years before I track the Shadow Broker down. But someday he'll slip up. And I'll be there. I'll talk to you later, Liara. Alright. All that's left is Lair of Shadows. Which I guess we shall go do, because... We did all the missions. I assume that we can... Shepard, it's good to see you again. So, what can I do for you? Let's get the Shadow Broker. I know you're looking for the Shadow Broker. Cerberus gave me data on where to find him. Interested? Absolutely. I had no idea. Let me see what you've got. Interesting that we do all that and we could just do this. Weird. It looks like a leaked transmission between Shadow Broker operatives. Some hints as to the location and... It's about Farron. He's still alive. Yay. Who's Farron? He was a friend. He helped me recover your body from the Shadow Broker. What? Why did the Shadow Broker want my corpse? He was going to sell you to the Collectors, but Farron and I stopped him. Farron okay. This puts the cult Shadow... The Shadow Man, so Shadow Broker me. on my shit list. Then how did I end up with Cerberus? You work? Well, they gave me intel to help recover you. They actually put Farron with me in the first place. After I got out, I gave you to them. They said they could bring you back. You saved me. You kept me out of the Collector's hands. Without you, I couldn't have come back. Thank you. I didn't know how you'd feel when Cerberus restored you. If you'd feel betrayed... Overall, kinda don't trust Cerberus, but back. they do some good. you're giving me a chance to find Farron. After two years. He was your friend. Sounds like you and Farron were close. It's funny. He betrayed me more than once. He was double dealing for Cerberus, for the Shadow Broker. But in the end, he 
he sacrificed himself for me. I owe him. We'll get Farron back. Before I continue, I do find it frickin' hilarious that the Shadow Broker I pissed off in the first game, and then in the second game, in a DLC, it's revealed that he tried to sell me to the Collectors. I wonder if things would have changed if I did give the Shadow Broker his information that he wanted. Probably not, but let's... Besides, I thought the Shadow Broker dealt in information, not bodies. Any friend of yours is a friend of mine. What's the next step? I... I don't know. I need to prepare to think. I'm going home. Use my terminal if you need any local intel. You okay? I've spent two years plotting revenge. Now I have the chance to make it a rescue. Let me help. I'll come by your apartment. Okay. Hopefully I'll have a plan by then. Thank you, Shepard. Take cab to Liara's. I can't even go around. And I got paragons. There's no further intel available. Lol. I guess this that's if you accidentally medicine. start All that. Users of Coros brand medical radiation systems are asked to discontinue treatment immediately. Please return your system to an authorized dealer for a refund or for credit for the Coros brand radiation personal defense weapon. Lol. <laughs> you can let it ride <laughs> to Fire Festival 2. <laughs> But, yay, I did, I do find it kind of funny that all that information, I guess, but it, maybe if we did this before we caught Nixeris, something bad would have happened. Like, Nixeris would have been able to warn the Shadow Broker. But, kind of interesting, kind of funny, but let's go get the Shadow Broker. Let's go get the Shadow Broker. Me, my girlfriend, and my would-be boyfriend. If Garrus swung that way and uh, Dally didn't exist. Garrus, Tally, with me! We are going to go and kill people! Seal off those trace samples and get them back to the lab. We got multiple shots fired. We yeah, are a better not be going dead. Over the place now. Central, we got an open carrier on this end, switching to a coded relay. What's going on? Blue Suns? That looks Blue Suns-ish. This area is sealed off. Please step back, sir. I'm Sail Commander off. Shepard, what? bitch. Someone tried to kill your friend, Commander Shepard. Televisir. Thank you, officer. Your people are dismissed. Do I know you? You can't do that. Already done. Just a car? Who are you? I'm not good with... Like Two of us things. here. Special tactics and recon. Oh, Spectre. A Spectre. I heard your status was reinstated. Good. You're one <laughs> of our most famous operatives. Might even get you to sign my chest plate. Lol. So, I assume you had business with your friend this evening, Commander. Liara was following a lead on the Shadow Broker. The Shadow Broker? Dangerous enemy to have. Attack details. What are the facts so far? About 25 minutes ago, someone took a shot at Tissoni. Note the bullet holes. She stuck around for almost four minutes before leaving the building. Whatever she was doing was important. Planning a plan. Liara's location. If Liara isn't here, where is she? If I knew that, I wouldn't be sifting through her crap. There's no blood, no body. It looks like Tassoni got away. Or captured. The sniper didn't plan on her kinetic barrier. Clever girl. Paranoid. But clever. Police investigation. Did the police find anything when they arrived? Just the mess and the bullet holes. I gave them a gold star for finding the bullet holes. <laughs> You amuse me. I like you. She'd have left a Clara note. was expecting me. She would have left a message here. Her office wasn't safe. I'm not surprised. Ilium is just Omega with expensive shoes. I agree I with you. Haven't found anything useful for tracking her down yet. Let me look. You knew Tassoni better than I do. Where would she have hidden her backups? Let me take a look around. Thing. A lot of happened in two years. She worked with Cerberus. used to do that wasn't standard issue. The kinetic barrier deflected the shots, but they still managed to penetrate the glass. My N7 armor. It's part of my old armor. Looks like someone didn't like you much either. Yeah, they're called collectors. 
They're giant douche nozzles. I killed them. A doctor from the University of Ceres, Avanthesia. She's getting good use out of all that education. If why does she have a bunch of rocks? Probably Prothean. Okay, she has a shit ton of rocks. Or all those trees. Maybe they're very shitty trees. <laughs> <laughs> it's possible they're just very shitty, shitty trees. Normandy. The picture changed when you touched it. It must be keyed to your ID. What does it show now? It's a Prothean dig site. Liara did leave a message. There are a few Prothean looking objects around the apartment. Let's see what we can find. Those things must be worth a fortune. She even has fish. She's just like me, for real. Vasir, I've got something here. Backup disc. Let's try it on her terminal. Hopefully you're not the one that took a shot, I just realized. How would she have fucking known about the kinetic barrier? Looks like she recorded a call. What have you got for me, Sagat? It was tricky, but you paid for the best. I can narrow it down to a How would she have known about the kinetic barrier? How soon can you have it? That's my worry. It shouldn't take long. Come to my office. Barrier Frontiers in the Dracon Trade Center. Gotta say, though, Your side eye doesn't you're make you trustworthy. Nervous. How big is the trouble that could come out of this? Relax, Sikat. I'll see you in a few hours. She's in danger. This must be important. The Shadow Broker's people already tried to kill her once. I know where the Dracon Trade Center is. My car's outside. Let's go. I still don't trust you because how would you have known it was a kinetic barrier? Is my immediate worry. Although I just realized that uh, I should be going to Earth for trial, but fuck it, I'm the taking down the Frontiers broker. The Frontiers offices are located on the third floor. I don't hear police chatter. We must have missed the party. Or they're dead. I think they're dead. Liara's in there. Just know, Shadow Broker, you kill Liara, I kill you. Hila. They just took out three floors to make sure she's dead. I'll grab this guy car and seal off the building from the top. I'll start down here and work my way up. Just leave some for me. Need to find a, a non turian inspector for once. Oh, 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 no. oh god. What's happening? Was it a bomb? What happened? The blast knocked the gun. What happened? Bomb. Who are you? What's going on? Bomb. Yo, Shadow Broker. You have pissed me off in five billion different ways. You are going to fucking die. Elevator use. I'm not gonna use it. I don't think using the elevator would be the smart call. Or maybe something will happen. Oh, that's why I saved. The elevators are out and building security is dead. Frontier employee. Looks like he got caught in the explosion. I wouldn't take any bets on Tissoni's informant surviving that blast. They poisoned the Medigel. Set the bombs, killing everyone. I don't even need credits, I'm just... Then again, maybe credits carry over to Mass Effect 3. <laughs> At the end of the day... While I wasn't the closest to Liara... Alright, that's super weird. Give me my gun back. Orange, blue, kind of an ado.
Power cells. Is the leading industry authority on resource logistics and management. Not anymore. You got blown to hell. We are committed to providing Bomb. Vizier, I found a military grade explosive device. It hasn't been armed. Sloppy work. You use that kind of hardware when you don't have time to plan. We are must have caught them the fuck off. Logbook. Vizier, I'm at the Barrier Frontier's office. We are assigned in just a few minutes ago. Understood, Commander. Welcome to Barrier Frontiers. Let us be your guide to limit my Enemies on our right! Expansion. Here, I pinned down. Work. And they're well run. Say hello to the Shadow Broker's private army, Commander. What you need. Oh. Barrier Frontiers. We show you the way. Guess what, Shadow Broker? You've pissed off the savior of the galaxy! Song Wukong! Go Good girl. I probably should have gone back to the ship to activate the things that I bought. Suck it, Shadow Broker. Why couldn't you shoot out the window? Nothing fast. shoot someone and dodge a rocket while the rocket flew towards you. So I just did that shit. Hostile spotted. Damn you. Enemy combat Harsh bastards, the lot of you. Wish I could hand you over to the collectors myself. Uh, lots of ammo over here. Nice that it seems. Here. These damaged pipes are on fire. They're blocking the stairs. Look for a switch to activate the fire suppressants. Got it. Should be clear now. Good. I'm on my way down. But I was gonna say something. Nice to see that. Uh, it seems my sniper rifle auto reload. Boop. Damn you. I get the last two, or uh, another heavy pistol ammo thingy. I probably should have done this before the end of the game. Oh well. Fuck. Hello, bitches. Good job. Once again, hope you're not the one behind everything. Damn it. If I'd have been a few seconds faster, I could have stopped them. You said that weirdly. Must have been. No sign of that data Liara talked about. You're dangerous, like you're evil. Uh, speaking of which, 
Did you find your friend's body? Yeah, she's evil. You mean this body? Hmm, what's going on? Liara. Something I should know. This is the woman who tried to kill me. Figured. You've had a rough day, so I'll let that slide. Why don't you put that gun down? I saw you. I doubled back after I left. I watched you break into my apartment. It all makes sense. You didn't know where Liara went because she hid the message. You needed me to find it for you. Thanks for the help. Once she had my location, she signaled the Shadow Broker's forces. They bombed the building to take me out. She found Sakat, took his data, and killed him. I'm guessing she's still got the disc on her. Good guess. Not that you'll ever see what's on it. You pure blood bitch! Die! Damn it, Shepard. Time for boss battle. I want boss battle. Rend her apart, flay her flesh. I knew I couldn't trust the bitch. Like, the moment that she said stuff about the kinetic barrier, it was like, I knew I couldn't trust her. There was no way that she would be able to know about the kinetic barrier without being there. Bitch. Digging out. Oh, she's calling a taxi. Another gun gunner. Oh, I get to control. There she is. Hang right. No wait left. I'm on her. Hang right. She's around the corner. Hopefully, I don't lose her. We're not going into the construction site, are? Oh, goddess. I'm not letting her escape with that data. And I'm not gonna let her do it either. Keep an eye on that trail. Go, 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 go! I'm going! Traffic! Oncoming traffic! We'll be fine. We're below the oncoming traffic. Think you can lose me? She's dropping proximity charges. I noticed. You can't have too many of those. Damn you. Not to mention she wasted time. She's got reinforcements! What kind of guns does this thing have? None. It's a taxi, it has a fare meter. Wonderful. 
track. I know. Track. I know. Dang it. Luckily, she waited there for me. We go. You're enjoying this. A little bit. Man, that. Yeah, I hear those can be bad for you. Not going nearly as fast as. Truck. Again? Ah, she got popped. Watch out, bitch. Not the first rogue specter I'm going against. Lol. Suck it. You're a terrible specter. A good specter doesn't get caught. Or is that obvious? See, this is why you just be a good person. Occasional bastardness. Puncher. Well, you shot it? Why? I've crashed on Azure. Get me some damn backup. We're your backup. Because we're going to shove your back up. Watch out. They're dropping reinforce. There's Vizier's car. Come on, she can't have gotten far. They blocked the door. Watch out. They're dropping reinforcements in to slow us down. Once again, I say... The Shadow Broker is supposed to only work on, like, information. Not supposed to give, like, super dangerous... Like a uh, shift of power type stuff. That's not what the Shadow Broker is supposed to be about. So it makes no sense that the Shadow Broker would try to sell my body and. Um... Oh. What? Silence phone. Watch for drones. Oh. Enjoy the ride. Where am I supposed to go? Watch out, flashbangs. Guess it's maybe one through here. I'm just trying to find the right way through. It says that way, that way, which is okay, I can't go that way. Can't go there. I'm very confused what the game wants of me. It says go that way. I can't go that way. Am I supposed to just survive? Okay, yeah, I'm getting annoyed. Game's like, we have to move, so is this kill them? But then why is it pointing that way? And why can't I go that way and do there things? I'll send them flying. I'm annoyed. Unless this is like the way it's actually supposed to go. So yeah, either just survive. Dang it. Yeah, overall I'm just kind of getting annoyed by this. This should punch through their armor. Shield your eyes. Watch for drones. Because I don't see a way to get through. Oh, is it gonna make way? It made way. Okay. I was just wondering where we were supposed to go. And then the game was making it difficult. Normally, in situations that make it feel like you're supposed to stay and fight, the uh, thing doesn't point. Right. 
job, I swear. Hey, we're unharmed. We didn't see anything. What kind of hotel is this? Azure. It's a luxury resort with an exotic edge. Azure is slang for a part of the Asari body in some areas of Ilium. Where? Ba -ba -ba -ba. Near the bottom. I meant where on the Asari body. Nah. I thought she went through here. Yeah, we already. We can use this. All right, maybe she actually went around. Or maybe she broke back in. There's blood. She's lost a lot of blood. We have to be getting close. She's tough. I'll give her that much. She's Spectre. She's a Spectre. And she's killing people like a bitch. Personal data pad. We're just stealing. Once again, we're basically looters. The game's pointing that way when obviously this is the way. Did she go invisible? Nope, she's just bleeding out slowly. It's over. Hey, hey, you. Come here. What's your name? Of course. You think you'd stay away from M Mariana. bloodied people? Mariana, you want to live, don't you? Tell those people that you want to live. Please. Mariana, we'll I'm get here to you help. Out of here safely, Mariana. Well, that's good to hear. All you had to do was walk away. Now it gets ugly. Please, I have a son. A son? I hope he gets to see you again. I've heard losing a parent is just horrific for children. Scars them for life. I'm going to end you, Fazir. It's okay, Liara. We'll handle it. The usual way. You want Mariana's little boy to grow up without a mommy, Shepard? How did you get Thermal to become a Spectre? Now, power cells too. I'll shoot if I have Is to. Is that it? What? Vasir, I sacrificed hundreds of human lives to save the Destiny Ascension. I unleashed the Rachni on the galaxy. Yeah, <laughs> that's a so badass boast. Sake, I hope your escape plan doesn't hinge on me hesitating to shoot a damn hostage. You're bluffing. Now, Liara. <laughs> Lol. Is she gonna Wicked Witch of the West? What the fuck? Oh. Watch out, shockwave. This is slow now. Okay, I hate shockwave. Let me heal. Go. Because of shot ready. I do love the baddest boast. I unleashed the Rachni upon the galaxy. I don't think that's uh miss me? I don't think that's uh, common knowledge.
fuck him, all of your vortexes are Enemy terrible. I'll finish you myself. I don't think you will. Dang it. They're under control. I hate your bullshit. Once again. Stop. Burn. Bitch. Oh, damn it. I killed damn it. I killed a Spectre before. Time again. Sakat's personal data pad. This has what we need to find the Shadow Broker. You're dead. The Shadow Broker has been at power for decades. Decades? He's stronger than anything you've ever faced. Saren. you sold out the council to work for him? Huh. You think I betrayed the council? Like Saren? Go to hell. The Broker's given me damn good intel over the years. Intel that saved lives and kept the Citadel safe. So if the broker needs a few people to disappear, so I'll you pay did that betray them. without hesitation. You crossed the line. Inspectors don't blow up buildings filled with innocent people. Sure we do. We get our hands dirty so the council doesn't have to. Then you're a damn the bad inspector. about our methods to soothe their consciences, but they never look too close. So you're just like Sarah. Besides, you're with Cerberus. You have any idea what your terrorist friends have done? Yes. I know who they are and what they've done. It doesn't matter. I think it does. You want to judge me? Look in the mirror. Kidnapping kids for biotic death camps? Killing Alliance admirals who ask questions? And guess what? I shut those down. Don't you dare judge me. Oh, don't you? I'll judge you because they brought me back to life. He gave you intel. We are not the same. Eliminate Sony and retrieve the data. Civilian casualties not a concern. Basir's dead. I'm putting the data through to the Normandy's computers. We can be at the Shadow Broker's base in a few hours. He'll know about Basir before long. If he decides to kill Farron. We won't we'll let get him. Farron out of there alive, Liara. I promise. I know. You're here to help, just like always. That's not a good thing? When we first met on Therum, you saved me from the Geth. You fought a Krogan Battlemaster while I cowered. Now you're doing it again, and I'm still leaning on you for help. That's what friends do, Liara. And we are friends. I can get us there based on Sakat's data. The Normandy's stealth drive will keep them from detecting us. The Shadow Broker's agents are still shooting their way through Ilium. With luck, they won't notice we've left until it's too late. That's a little cold. They killed innocent people. You know what I mean. Do I? When I hit the ground back at the Trade Center, you went after Vizier without a backward look. A little fall wasn't going to kill you. <laughs> I had to stay on Vizier. I had to stay rational, make the call, like I did with Sakat. That's Vizier's fault, not yours. Sakat had no idea what the stakes were. I put him in harm's way to get the data I needed. I got him killed. And I'd do it again. But from here on out, things will be simple. Get in, get Farron, get out. And kill the and Shadow kill Broker? anyone who tries to stop us. That's it? <laughs> That's it. Sounds like a plan. Hopefully I actually hit that last one. It went by fast. Garrus again. We're gonna take down those bitches. Oh, we actually get to assign your stuff. Interesting. Asari controller. Health, weapon damage, power. Hmm. Asari operative. Making it immune to damage. I'm going this way. Heavy Singularity. Your Singularity can hold numerous enemies helpless for 
for your time. Go for that one. Let's go. You pissed me off, Shadow Broker. We're going to come and kick in your nuts. Because obviously we haven't met the Shadow Broker. There won't be anybody we know. It's not going to be a twist. Surprise, it's Udina. The oceans boil during the day, then snap freeze ten minutes after sundown. Harsh. The Shadow Broker lives in this? His ship follows the sunset, completely undetectable in the storm, unless you know where to look. How do we get inside? The shuttle Blow it up. is locked down. We'll need to land on the ship and hunt for a hatch. Ah, just like the Cal Cast Citadel all over again. There's a constant lightning storm where the hot and cold air collide. You made some very powerful enemies, Shadow Broker. You try to sell me to the collectors. You try to. You, I actually don't know who initiated the war between you and to Sony, but. It's hard to pinpoint in this lightning. At the end of the day. I'm picking up signals from a communications array near the back of the ship. There's you've angered me. Maintenance equipment. We have to find an entrance near the back shielding. It paced me off. Maintenance drones. Why are they attacking? They must think we're debris from the storm. I could probably not use my sniper ammo on these. They're not built for gunfire. Why well, use a nuke? That was a thing. Damn it, there was a thing that popped up. Did it again. Careful. Those capacitors discharge built up lightning. Thanks for the tip. Shepard, try firing at the capacitors. <laughs> Oh, they and then they recharge each other. Cute. Yeah, shuttle broker, you better be scared. Yeah, these ones didn't explode. That's actually a bit weird. Assume that that's what they look like. Maggots. Shadow Broker. This is what happens when you play the bad guy. A good guy gets angry at you. I mean, sure, I blew up a bunch of gaps that were just following their own dreams. Okay, looking down was clearly a mistake. Not wrong. <laughs> ah, fuck. Lol, get knocked over. All the stuff you've created. 
I wonder, if, again, I wonder if this might be partial cause because I didn't give them the info they wanted. Ship is incredible. It must have taken decades to build in secret. I wonder what happened to the contractors. Probably went boom. we can guess. Navigating this storm is brutal. If the ship's engines stop, even for a moment, at least the Shadow Broker would go down with us. Motion dampeners. I bet you can't even hear the storm from inside the ship. Yeah. All that information, and what good has it done you, Shadow Brokey boy? Shadow the Broken. The red of the Metagel package always makes me think of Renegade. I'm like, oh god, I got Renegade points. Then again, I am taking Metagel from people that could use it. For credits, that is pretty Renegade. Fun. By who? By God. Watch the Asari. I watch no one. like, hey, you saved the universe without being like me, so therefore you're bad, and I gotta oppose you. I think he crawled out of the universe. We could fall off at any moment. What fun. how much of a small army he has in there, the Shadow Broker. He has to know that he's screwed, right? I killed a Spectre, a Super Asari Commando that took more damage than anyone else I've seen in this universe. Aside from a Reaper controlling Turian Spectre. Who, granted, was nothing more than a glorified leafy boy. But you've made an enemy. You kidnapped a friend of a friend. And therefore you gotta die. Well, I assume you're gonna die because... People like you don't really take no for an answer. Normally you're like, er, I am good grin. I should probably bring my sniper back out. Yeah, it's, it's an Asari. Kind of implied. You see an Asari, you go, oh god, please don't mind play me. I've taken down a super specter. I've taken down a super specter. I've taken down collectors. I've even fought and killed a human reaper larva. And you think? Ah, here we go. 
Are we gonna launch it into the sky? We must be really pissing them off. Not even a guardrail. I bet the broker's agents love patrolling the hall. At least the view is nice. Actually, kind of is. Save again, cause I'm paranoid. There, that hatch leads directly to the communication signals. Considering how many things are out here, I feel like we're gonna have a hard time getting in. It's locked. Hang on, I've got a bypass shunt program that can crack it. How long will it take? I don't know, Shepard. I've never broken into the Shadow Broker's base before. Well, not this one, anyway. Nah. Here. Firing a high impact shot. You sure that shunt is working? It's illegal, even on Ilium. It didn't come with a warranty. But you tested it, right? Here come more of them. Tell me you tested it. <laughs> Lol. No They're under control. Thanks. Damn you. I'll burn you instead. I'm sure it won't be much longer. Remember the old days when you could just slap Omni Gel on everything? <laughs> that security upgrade made a lot of people on That's a nice joke. That's a nice callback to how things were. Remember you when you could just slap Omni Gel on everything? Not wrong! never been invaded before, so they're all panicking. Dang it. Hey, come on. The game did the thing again where it's like, actually, I'm gonna delay like a second after you press the button, and then I'll shoot. Die. things. You've sealed your fate. Collect, not collector. Shadow broker. Shadow collector! Why can't I just say I'm Commander Shepard, you should all fuck off? Dang 
and I keep missing. Fire! Well, I mean, easy for you to say. The cost is their life. Shield your eyes. Wish I, again, wish I could just say, come on, I am Commander Shepard, give up, you psychopaths. I have done so much against this universe, and for this universe. Watch the Asari. Fire! Matter the cost, he says. Easy for you to say. These dudes, they're giving their lives. They probably never thought that anybody would invade this place. Who would invade the Shadow Broker? The ship's layout. We're headed toward the prison block. And Farron. This place is a prison block? Burn. Neutralize the drone. Why you damn it? Double damn it. Darius, he's right next to you. made a very bad enemy. Your boss and me. Your boss is probably gonna do horrible things to you if you don't do what he says. I'm gonna do horrible things to you if you don't do what I say. Farron. He's alive. <gasps> Hold on. We're getting you out of He's a trap. He has to be a trap. No. Farron. Are you alright? What the hell is the broker trying to do to you? The equipment is sensitive to tampering. This chair plugs into the broker's info network. You have to shut off the power. Pull me out now and my brain cooks. Do you know where we can cut the power? It won't be easy. You'll have to go to central operations. Your prison. What's the point of this cage? I don't... It's a neural grounding rod. The medical equipment is to make sure he doesn't expire. We you... have to shut this place down. The, sh the guards. Where did the broker get the mercs? Raised his own private force. They're completely loyal. Uh, uh, uh. Shepard, we really don't have the time. Hmm. We're all leaving. Easy or not, we're all getting out of here. Good. Central operations is down the hall. You know the Shadow Broker's waiting for you, right? I'm counting on it. We'll be back for you, Farron. I'll try not to go anywhere. I want all teams to help us see. What if it turns out Farron is actually the real Shadow Broker? Shield your eyes. Damn you. Watch out. Completely loyal. Which means no worries. I'll happily annihilate all of you. It's not Renegade. They wouldn't stand now.
You'd think this place would be wired with traps. Like, at any point he could just depressurize and throw us out. Confront the Shadow Broker. The fuck? What are you? Wearing a mask? I have never seen your species. Here for the drill. Reckless, even for you, Commander. Speak for yourself. That bombing on Ilium wasn't exactly subtle. Extreme, but necessary. No, it wasn't. Neither was caging Ferran for two years. Dr. Dessoni, your interference caused all this. Farron betrayed me when he handed you Shepard's body. The Drell is simply paying the price. Hmm. Your allies are monsters. Someone was bound to come after you for working with the Collectors. It was a mutually beneficial partnership. Fortunately, the Normandy's IFF will let me salvage the remains of the Collector's base. Hmm. Let Farron be go. Be smart. Let Farron walk out with us. You won't be walking out at all. You're quite confident for someone with nowhere left to hide. You travel with fascinating companions, Doctor. It's good you brought Archangel to Sony. Your friend's bounty is still unclaimed. You're not putting a hand on anyone. It's pointless to challenge me, Asari. I know your every secret while you fumble in the dark. Is that right? You're a Yogg. A pre-space flight species quarantined to their homeworld from massacring the Council's first contact teams. This base is older than your planet's discovery. Which probably means you killed the original Shadow Broker 60 years ago, huh. then took over. I'm guessing you were taken from your world by a trophy hunter who wanted a slave. Or a pet. How am I doing? Boss fighter, what? Oh, he's a big boy. Damn it. Garrus is out for the count, I guess. So, that's interesting. Hit bit. That his species is unique. Give up or die. Phase two, damn you. He's in a stasis healing. The shield's kinetically sensitive. Energy and projectiles are bouncing off. Then we do this the hard way. Hit him now. Lol. How many tricks do you have? All right. I could always do my heavy duper. Let me sprint. Still hate that part. I don't know, maybe make Tab jump in. If you can get him to bring up that shield again, I've got an idea. All right, we're going heavy weapons this time. Cause fuck this guy. Enemies incoming. You're just pissing me off. Dang it. Oh. 
Hey, nice of you, game, to not no let me know that happens until I was in death territory. That was a really stupid game. What's your plan? Worker's gone. Lol. Kind of mean they took out Garrus for this. Granted, if anyone was gonna get smacked into uh, unconsciousness by a table, it would be Garrus. Don't you die on me, Liara. We have your boyfriend to save. He got out of there quick. Shadow Broker, this is Operative Morat. We've had a momentary connection failure. Can you confirm status? Are you going to become Shadow Broker? Requesting update. Are we still online? Shadow Broker, I've lost our feed. We're online and awaiting instructions. Do you want to take over? Or do you want to destroy? Or are you going to kill all the contacts in one go? Procedures. I want a status report on all operations within the next single day. Shadow Broker, out. <laughs> Goddess of Oceans, it's you. You, how? We killed him. Well, everyone who's ever seen him in person is dead. So, you're the new Shadow Broker. You sure about this? Taking over as the Shadow Broker really a good idea? It was either that or lose everything. His contacts, his trading sources, those will really help And you'll hopefully do things more morally. Information network. I can... I can give you... I can... I'll... check the power systems. Thank you, Farron. Nice hobble. <laughs> that, that, that kind of looks wonky. It almost looked like he was half <laughs> taking him along. <laughs> It's all over? Is that why you're crying? It's over. It's finally. For two years. You are my friend, and I'm happy that you're alright. All right. Don't you dare kiss me. I have a girlfriend. I was just being nice. I spent two years mourning you and Farron. And now I've got you both back. I... Well, let's see what we've got. We did spend quite a decent amount of time killing through your own forces now. No safeguards or user restrictions. It's like he never anticipated anyone... Both the original Shadow here. Broker and, and that other one. Hours. What have we got? What kind of information are we talking about? I'm not sure. I'll need to go through his files. Come back later and I'll try to have something useful for you. All I wanted was to rescue Farron, but is it wrong that part of me wants this? I would say no. With the Shadow Brokers Network, I can help you. Maybe I can turn this operation into something better. <laughs> I'll miss you. Don't be a stranger this time. Come by when you have a chance. The doors are always open. Thank you, Shepard. For everything. 
That'll definitely come handy in the future. That was actually a pretty decent... It's kind of interesting because the Shadow Broker F was just this idly mentioned thing and that popped up once or twice in Mass Effect 1. Shepard has defeated the Shadow Broker. Eliminate Cerberus information leaks as Lear to Sony's takeover. The Asari's relationship with Shepard should be watched closely. I already have a girlfriend. But woot woot. That should be. Shepard, it's so good to see you. I've set up a few terminals with information I think you'll find interesting. Take a look. All right. He's an orb. Welcome back, Shadow Broker. Lol. What's this? That's the old broker's VI assistant. It's actually been helpful with rebuilding the network. Please let me know if I can organize anything else for you, Shadow Broker. It also thinks anyone in the room is the broker. I'll play around with the settings later. My Lol. is ready whenever you have a moment. Alright. Dossiers. So I can look at everyone. Hmm. Stephen Hackett. We already know his face. Investment opportunities. Warning signal. A pirate fleet is massing the fringes of the Terminus systems in preparation for a raid out Lion Alliance colonies. Yes. Bureaucracy in action. The Serta Foundation can't start tests on a promising new antibiotic because you accidentally misfiled because of mis <laughs> almost says I, I said you because of accidentally misfiled paperwork. Use your contacts to help them cut through the red tape so they can begin clinical trials. Smear campaign. A corrupt politician is trying to levy heavy taxes on earth manufactured goods coming into his uh, system in exchange for kickbacks from local businesses. Ruin the politician's reputation. Just reward. Eclipse mercenaries have secretly set up a red sand production facility on Corvo. Tip off the planetary authorities about the facility in exchange for half of the credits seized during the raid. Alright. Neat. Hopefully that'll be nice and handy in the future. <laughs> Iridium Mining Company. Nothing available for purchase. The location of Planet Rich of Iridium is available for purchase. Sure. Platinum Planet, sure. I'll, apply, I'll buy everything. Heavy pistol damage. Armor upgrade. That would have been nice to have. So this is like a pseudo Normandy. Advanced training. Oh, and I could do that for anyone. She may be expecting to move to a larger mansion. Shepard, glad you stopped by. We don't get many visitors. Take it easy. You've been through a lot. You're probably right. <laughs> You've been I here for two years. Thanks for the rescue. No problem. Liara never gave up. That's what I do. I just help. I'm still amazed Liara came for me. I'll never forget what either of you did. I can log that in the archives for you, sir. <laughs> I see you met the secretary. <laughs> Your health. How are you holding up, Farron? I'm. I'll be all right. I wasn't always strapped into that interrogation chair. Drell can mentally escape into old memories. Yeah. It came in handy on the bad days. Your plan. What will you do now that you're a free man? I want to help Liara rebuild this place. But after that... Your schedule's getting full, sir. Let me sync it to your Omni tool. Lol. No thanks, I'm fine. Meeting Liara. How did you and Liara both end up looking for my body? Cerberus headhunted me and Liara to steal your body from the Shadow Broker. I was working for the Broker at the time, and he's the one who scraped up your remains in the first place. Hmm. Why well, switch sides? What turned you against the Shadow Broker? He started working for the Collectors. You weren't their first victim. I am... 
was an information trader, not a slaver. Hmm. The drone. Looks like you've made a friend. The drone follows everyone. I don't know why the broker kept it around. Integral. A shell for a specialized data processing VI, custom built to your specification, Shadow Broker. It helps coordinate the network's massive information feeds, but it could use a different interface tone. You deemed my default personality sufficient for your needs, Shadow Broker. I wish it would stop calling me that. And Liara is the broker. How do you broker. think Liara's doing as the new Shadow Broker? Operations are almost fully recovered after a slight dip in efficiency. Ever since we repaired the network, Liara's been glued to the archives. <laughs> I caught her sleeping at her desk more than once. She's busy, but I think she likes it that and way. Finally, what's your relationship? For two years, Liara didn't stop looking for you. You two must have been close. She's a good friend. Better than I deserve. I'll see you later. Take it easy, Baron. Thanks. Video archive? What is this console do? This is the video surveillance access point. I've queued up the archive footage you requested on your last visit, Shadow Broker. Aria Talok, Omega. Play. Next. Emily Wong, Citadel. Emily. We haven't seen you in a bit. <laughs> Just her dancing. Fred Mazai, Citadel. Fred Mazai. Yonel Udina, Citadel. Udina. All right, Udina's kind of lost Armando it. Bailey, Citadel. Armando Bailey. I don't think I know them. David Anderson, Citadel. David Anderson. Oh yeah, Captain Anderson. Praetor Gavon, Omega. Praetor Gavon. I wonder if a lot of this might be setting up stuff for the third game? <laughs> Lol. Keeper 20, Citadel. <laughs> Keeper 20, why is there a tea posing Krogan? Why is there a tea posing Krogan? Keeper 20. Matriarch Atheta, Ilium. I don't think I know a matriarch of Theta. Erdnot Torsk, Tachanka. I know Erdnot. Alright, so. A bit of a. Elias Kellum, Omega. Harshness. Jacob Taylor, Normandy SR2. Okay, that's disturbing. They have shit on the norm. Uh, well, then again, Cerberus. Subject zero, purgatory. Ship now defunct. Ah, so this is old footage. Aria Talok, Omega. Interesting. Check for more videos on your next visit. It's like you, the, you, if you meet characters, you get access. I don't think there's anything else but to talk and see about that. Delivery pickup. Shotgun technology and palladium. Lol. What? Oh, I should have used all. Oh, I did. Good. How are you doing, Liara? I'm a bit overwhelmed, to be honest. The Shadow Broker had more resources than you can imagine. Here, come on over. He had top level access to the Turian and Asari governments. And more than one Solarian Dalatros traded intel. And now it's ours. Hmm. Be careful. You're not gonna turn into a recluse with creepy information on everyone in the galaxy, are you? I can understand the temptation. I've got all the secrets of the galaxy at my fingertips. Give me ten minutes and I could start a war. Don't do that. But I've got a purpose. Helping you stop the Reapers. <laughs> that will keep me honest. 
That's good to know. You know, relatively speaking. Well, what have you got? Have you found anything useful yet? The Shadow Broker knew about the Reapers. Perhaps that's why he offered to help prove Saren's guilt to the Council. He didn't he did want that? Saren to succeed. But then why would he help the ca the the Collectors? He also knew that the Collectors were Protheans repurposed to be Harbinger's puppets. There's even some data on the Protheans. I think he knew what was coming and was looking for a way to survive. Prothean data. Why was he still looking at Protheans? They gave us the warning and the conduit at Ilos, but we've used those. The Shadow Broker seemed to think there was more out there. Perhaps the Protheans had other plans. Or maybe he was just grasping at anything that offered some hope. Shadow Broker's species. How do you know what the Shadow Broker was? I didn't. I had no idea what to expect when we finally found him. But I researched pre-space ah. cultures during some of my Prothean studies. I know a bit about the Yogg. There's more on the terminals if you want to look. They're a fascinating culture. And a terrifying one. So like, worse Krogans. Farron's health. How's Farron doing? As well as you'd expect, after two years of intermittent torture. You gonna be okay? I don't know. He wants to work, so I'm letting him help. Maybe it takes his mind off it. Are you two together? So, you and Farron? No. He's been through a traumatic ordeal. He's emotionally fragile and needs to heal. He's very grateful to me for saving him. But it would be irresponsible of me to take advantage of that. That's a good way to see it. It was well, good talking with you, Thank you, thank you. Let me know if you need anything. I think what I need right now is a friend. I can't leave for too long. But spending all my time on this ship, maybe next time you come by, I could come up to the Normandy. Hmm. Let's do that sometime. Sounds good. Next time I come down, it's a date. I'm looking forward to it. Well, hopefully not a date date, because... I'm with Tally. That's probably... That's the main reason why I didn't say, yeah, sure, come on over. Because she probably doesn't want to watch Netflix. She wants to Netflix and chill. But oh, that was neat. Not sure if that will have any effect. Time to repurchase effective cast status on Karshan. I have deducted funds to grant you full elite access. But oh, that's interesting. Investment opportunities. I wonder if that'll have any effect in the future. No new messages. How may I help How's you? How's the crew? Anything I should know? No. Anything else, Command? I'll be here if you need anything. And that should be everything. I think we've gone to every planet. We missed some upgrades, which is sad, but oh well. Negligible, unless it comes to bite us in the end, I doubt. And so... No missions, no assignments. No for you, Commander. Ah! Enter orbit. We'll scan all these. It would be hilarious if these are the planets that I bought. I literally bought planets and they towed them over here. I press the goddamn button. I just want to scan them, so I might as well come over here and scan this as well. that we can scan that planet, too. But yeah, very interesting that they decided to actually add the Shadow Broker. I didn't really expect anything out of the Shadow Broker. Hmm. That's only, what, 88? 83? I'm missing a planet. What the hell's hiding from me? Is there a moon? Oh, there's a very tiny, very close to the sun planet. I keep forgetting that can happen. And there's no use to grab resources. Like, I have no need of resources at all. And I think that should be, yeah, all systems. Uh, 
which one has the mass relay out of here? Oh, the mass relay's down here. And that should be, like, all of the Milky Way galaxy plotted out. Let's see. <laughs> Platinum rich planet. Iridium rich planet. But it's 100% so we've already been there. Just looking at all the places to make sure they're all 100%. No anomaly is left undone. Eclipse, blue suns, everything brought down. I guess let's head to the local cluster. Still disappointed that Anderson had nothing to say and there was no way we could, like, contact our boy Caden. But yeah. That should be it. We're, we'll talk to Joker one last time. Because sadly, we can't really talk to Tally. She'll just be like, Oh, I'm sure I know. I'll understand if you want someone else. Hey there, Joker. Commander. How are things in the cockpit? Edie and I are just enjoying the calm before the shitstorm, Commander. <laughs> That's it for now. See you, Commander. But that is everyone. That is everything. I do believe. We've done everything, and I... And, well, she said nobody in the crew wants to talk. Or needs anything immediately. Then I do believe that that is... It. Mass Effect 2 has been relatively completed. I'm sure I missed achievements and stuff. In fact, hell, let's go to my captain's cabin, end with our space hamster, look at our ship collection. Invite Tally up. Uh, I can always say... I can always save. We'll look at achievements first. Save humanity from the... Oh, yay. What about this one? Kill 100 enemies with melee attacks. No wonder. Finish Mass Effect with the same character. Establish or rekindle it in all three Mass Effect games. So basically... <laughs> so unless you can romance Garrus... I think this game is basically saying how dare you not romance either Caden, but I doubt Caden, because I don't think you re can rekindle the relationship with how little Caden or Ashley is in this game. So basically, it's like, oh, you want this, you want this achievement? You have to play through Mass Effect 1, 2, and 3, romancing Tally. Not Tally, Dr. Tassone. Like, that is hilarious and silly. Complete all three on insanity without changing difficulty. Ow. Pain. Confront the Shadow Broker. Successfully shut down Project Overlord. Gain the loyalty of the thief, the mercenary. Evolve any power. Unlock 15 new Mass Effect 2 codex entries. Fully upgrade a weapon. Complete any research project. Complete a mission discovered by scanning an unexplored world. Visit 100% of the planets in an unexplored cluster. Complete five missions. Warp the barriers. Can't do that because I don't have that. Hit 20 with biotic powers. Don't have that. Disrupt the shield with of 25 enemies. Make 20 enemies scream as they fall. Incinerate the armor of 25 enemies. But I thought armor was a bad thing to use for incinerate on. I'm a failure. Headshots. Thresher Ma. Loyalty of the quarry and loyalty of the Cerberus officer. The professor. The Cerberus operative. The archangel. Help the Justica resolve her mission. Because I guess she already had our loyalty. Uh, yeah. She, we already had her loyalty. We just had to do her thing to put her mind at ease. Loyalty of the biotic convict. Loyalty of the assassin. Loyalty of the Krogan. Hack a Geth Collective. Successfully recruit the Quarian. Successfully recruit the Professor. R recruit, recruit, recruit. Keep your team alive through the suicide mission. Survives the suicide mission. Complete uh, the investigation of a derelict alien vessel. Defend a human colony from attack. Return to active duty. Save your crew from an overwhelming attack. I'm gonna fucking save. You know what? No. I'm not even gonna do that. I'm gonna look up what happens when you invite <laughs> Tally. Oh! Tally, not Dr. Tassone. 
My brain is mush because I've been here for four hours. Excuse me. Uh, what happens? Oh, I can just sit. That's nice. My face is a little weird and I look like I'm the villain. But still nice. Press and hold F to continue. But very nice. Then... I guess that will be it and I will give my final thoughts. I vastly prefer Mass Effect 2 to Mass Effect 1. I still suggest playing Mass Effect 1 because you get goodies in Mass Effect 2, you have a lot of crossover, and uh, there's a lot of little things, like the emails from people from Mass Effect 1. That's a nice touch. But, yeah, this is just a really nice game. I like that they overhauled the, like, the Paragon and Renegade system a little bit. It felt more even, and I didn't have to deal with leveling up to put things into charm or intimidate. Then... I'm happy they did away with inventory management because God did that suck. The story I felt was much better paced because it was actually do these mission than story, do these mission than story. And then before the, hey, bad things are gonna happen, you're able to go about and do everything. And I like that, do loyalty missions, do the side quests. And I also like the streamlining to uh, exploring the galaxy. I love the way they did the, like, you probe planets instead of going down. Kind of miss the Mako, but it's honestly superior in every way. Because it just kind of felt like a waste of time. And it allowed them to instead worry about make, instead of worrying about making these stretch, like, square mile of world, they can instead just make a level. That does make this game a bit more linear, and it's just like do things in a certain order to a degree, and then go do things. It's still nice. I like it. And uh, the tension was ra ratcheted up because they kind of threw, eh, Rex, and eh, Caden or Ashley at you on Vermeer. Whereas here, you kind of felt something was coming. Granted, I was spoiled by the achievement of get everybody out alive. So that kind of was like, when is it going to happen? When is it going to happen? Am I doing it right? Fear gripped me. And I had to worry, is sending Garrus out twice going to get him killed and just all the paranoia? But I got everyone back, and I am happy. And uh, the DLCs were interesting. Overlord was a bit eh, if only because of the... An autistic person can talk to the Geth. When it's revealed that the Geth can talk normally. In the base game. <laughs> it was so stupid. Oh, it's so stupid. I'm also still, like, literally the only thing that I hate about this game... Uh... The only thing that annoyed me was the occasional... Oh, I am looking through... Okay. The things that annoyed me. Because they're all flooding back now. One... Why is sprint and get in the cover the same button? Eh. Because I'll be, like, running by cover and then... Shepard will be... And get sucked in. And then, there was the bit where so if you do a certain action, like get into cover or get out of cover, it won't reload the sniper rifle. I know, sniper rifle only problems. And then sometimes when zooming in with the sniper, the game just freaks out on the blow up the Batarian Mass Effect relay mission. It literally stopped slowing down for some reason. It stopped giving me slow motion aim. That was annoying and stupid and I hated it. Sometimes when I zoomed in, the... It almost felt like the zoom, sniper rifle zoomed in. Sensitivity was the same as the looking around sensitivity, so it was hard to control. Sometimes it would snap about oddly. Sometimes I would press the button and it would fire like a second later. That was weird and annoying. And, uh, but the only thing that I supremely hate is the survive or die on project base. The one like, oh, 
the Reaper beacon thingy that was indoctrinating everyone. A, how did I not get indoctrinated when I was there for two days? If it was affecting me if all, after only a few minutes of being in its presence. And then B, I hate that you get nothing for it. Because apparently the achievement isn't in this game. If looking through the little achievement list over there is anything to say about it. Because apparently other people must have hated it in the original Mass Effect 2 and said, I hate this. This is dumb. So they decided to do away with the achievement. So I did it without... So it's literally meaningless. Just run into the guard and let yourself die. I hate that part of the mission. I Because when it happened, it was like, something has to happen if you survive. You get the good ending. No, you get nothing because they took out the achievement. <laughs> that's hilarious and evil. But yeah, that's the only things I kind of hate. I love the upgrades that you get. They're both story-related and functional. I love the, like, normal upgrades. Like, oh, you can upgrade the weapons. You can upgrade certain things. And love that they brought Tally and Garrus back. I love that they felt like there was more to the characters. Because things did feel a bit more, like, I don't know, not toned down, but just kind of air on Mass Effect 1. Here, the characters feel a bit more fleshed out. Here, the characters feel... A bit more charactery. Still don't no idea why we have the relic here, the Prothean relic, and uh, I feel like the moral decisions are more interesting. Brainwash the Geth or blow up the Geth, and like what kind of effect that will have in Mass Effect Three. And again, still really annoyed that the Project Base mission with blowing up the Batarian Relay was railroaded. I'm kind of interested in what happens if you don't do it because there has to be, like, there's no way that they're like, you load up Mass Effect 3, import your character, you didn't do this DLC mission, so you die. The Reapers got there two days ago. <laughs> no, they wouldn't do that. So there has to be a hand wavy, hee hee ha ha, kind of get rid of it because it is a DLC mission. They wouldn't hide a super duper important mission decision that affects the other game unless like no they just wouldn't because it's a DLC mission so it's not going to have that much of an effect in Mass Effect 3 I swear it, it, like, I, it just can't at the same time I still have to go back and fix the music because they built it up like this big thing they showed Adjit so it's just like it has to be a big thing because they built it up to be a big thing but it can't be a big thing because it's a DLC mission. And if you don't do it, the Reapers won't come through. Hell, more than likely, if you don't do it, somebody else will break out of indoctrination and ram the relay with the meteor. That's the only thing that can possibly happen. Because it's obvious that the Reapers aren't going to be mid-invading in Mass Effect 3 if you didn't do that mission. That would be dumb. But there still has to be something big from the way they built it up. It'll be interesting to see. It will be interesting to see. I love that every character has different, like, costumes. I love the customization and the casual wear. Kind of annoyed that other armors, probably DLC armors, are, like, don't have much customization to them. Then again, let's take a look. We only tried one armor armor. Nope, none of them have any kind bed rest I'm interested oh that's cute that's cute that's adorable and I look I look less like a villain in this scene but yes All of this, this is a massive improvement over Mass Effect 1. From what I've heard, a lot of people skip Mass Effect 1, and I can't blame them too much, but I still advocate for people to play Mass Effect 1. Mass Effect 1 has a decent story, it has decent decisions, and it's nice to go into this game and have things happen from Mass Effect 1. It's a decent thing. 
Uh, I like that you they kind of emphasize the cover base shooting a little bit more. I do feel like some things rip through you and kill you a bit faster than they should sometimes. God insanity mode must be literal insanity. Uh, I think some decisions are kind of dumb, like, Ooh, you could kill Samara and have Morinth instead. Why? Morinth is a sociopath. Like, even if you're going Renegade, why in the world would you ever freaking go with Morinth? I, like... Yeah. I don't like it. It's stupid. Because, like, nothing happens, like, right? Surely. At most, you lose out on a companion and she runs away because that's who she is. She's not going to b batch on down with Shepard to take down the Collectors. There's no freaking way. Not only because, oh, they'd have to put in voice lines for Morinth and, like, a character selection and everything for Morinth. They wouldn't do that. Or if they did, it would be kind of half-assed. <laughs> but overall, Mass Effect 2 was a massive fun time. I can't wait to see what decisions, like... Obviously, not all decisions are going to have an effect, like, uh, but I do like certain things from, like, Mass Effect 1. Uh, I saved the Rachni Queen, and uh, she came and talked to me while she sent a messenger and messaged me. That was nice. But I wonder if everything's going to come to a head in Mass Effect 3. I've heard mixed things about Mass Effect 3. I don't really know much about, like, the story of Mass Effect 3. All I know is that the original version of Mass Effect 3 was an ending Tron 9000 where you just play through the game and then you come on down, press a button and select your ending. So like, instead of all the choices you've made throughout the three trilogy game, three trilogy game, I'm saying that weird and my brain wants to repeat it, but instead of taking your choices from these three games, this trilogy, and giving you an ending based on that, instead, of giving you something like that and making something worth the trilogy, they gave you a ending Tron 9000. And I think that's dumb. I think they added more endings to the ending Tron 9000 at the very least. Like, they might have mitigated things a little bit, so who knows? It'll be interesting to experience myself. I don't know much about Mass Effect 3. But obviously the Reapers are coming. That was the whole ending thing. It ended with the Reapers coming from dark space, looming over the galaxy. Which was horrifying. So, it'll be very interesting. But yeah, I highly doubt that would have been two days or whatever. The Reapers were too far out for that ending. Blickety blue. Then again, it might have meant to be a post-game mission, maybe? That's probably what it could have been. So who knows? But yeah, Mass Effect 2, massive, wonderful time. Though I do have a bit of umbrage with my number one fan, I forget his name. In, uh, in Seven Armor said I waved a gun in his face. I never did, because he's a liar. Maybe something happened in the importing process. <laughs> but it's one game. No, it's technically not one game. It's like three different executables wrapped up in a fancy package. Eh. But, yeah, I didn't wave a gun in his face. I swear I didn't. And then, it's like, yeah, yeah, I don't know. It'll be interesting to see if he becomes, like, a real true soldier in the third game or something. Who knows? It'll be interesting to see. It'll be interesting to see where everyone goes. It's, it was nice and cool to see Geth that weren't evil. <laughs> I still find the frickin' Saren statue from... Kazumi's mission hilarious. Uh, I like the mission-based uh, structure much better than Mass Effect 1 because Mass Effect 1 had a lot of prefab like rooms and stuff. It definitely felt there was a bump in like budget to this. They were able to make more interesting levels and encounter rooms and stuff. You did kind of end up with the same amount of, like, enemy types. Oh, no, they had more enemy types in this one. And made things a bit more interesting. The boss... 
I, it's obvious that the Shadow Broker DLC was literally the last DLC they made because they actually gave you a boss fight. Two boss fights that were more boss fighty than anyone else. Granted, the Human Reaper Larva Freaky Bastard was a decent, like, uh, shoot the weak point boss, I guess. But yeah, I still think Scion, like, Husk Scions are stupid. I kind of hate. No, I don't think they're husk signs, but like, you know, the big bulgy husks that have the big guns. Don't like them. The collector monster with a mouthful of skulls. Don't like that guy. But overall, very interesting, very fun. I like the choices. It made me choose a renegade option consciously. It made me choose a renegade option consciously. That shows you how much better this game is than Mass Effect 1. Its choices actually make you think. You're like, damn it, should I actually do that? Granted, I still think it's a bit bullshit that Brainwash the Geth is the Paragon option. But again, I didn't want to, like, have the traumatizing potential of the heretic Geth uploading their memories to the normal other Geth and then it things spreading, either the trauma of the brainwashing or the thought processes that led to them becoming heretics or the virus changing the bits that somehow worming its way into the upload. I didn't want to risk it. I didn't want to risk it and again I do not condone brainwashing. We've killed tons of heretic geth. What is 2.2 million? Well, there was like 12 million or something. I think they said potentially billions in the diddly D. But that was Geth dying as they wanted, in a way. Dying, fighting to work for the Reapers. Again, depending if they've been indoctrinated or not. But in the end, thank you very much for watching, everybody. Mass Effect 2 has been a massive, wonderful time. Allowed me to romance Tally. That was happy, fun times. And it'll be interesting to see where everything goes in Mass Effect 3. Not sure. I, th I think they'll take a small break from streaming, ever so slightly, and we will go and play Mass Effect 3 sometime soon and see what the hell happens. Thank you very much for watching, and I hope to see you dudes next time. Bye. Bye.